let those golden locks flow. So I think two things can be true this morning. You can be happy Eric Musselman was here and what he accomplished, and you can be glad it's gone. That's how I feel. A lot of you are in the opposite camp. You're just dropping f bombs. You're saying <laughs> see you later, which is fine. Burning stuff. You completely, you, you're completely allowed to do that. Wow. Get a million dollars from us. Let's take that money. The other money that we can spend on let's a head basketball party. coach. Can we throw a party with it. No, no, let's go get a basketball coach. I was up at. 2.15 a.m. this morning here by 3 o'clock. I hope Hunter Yurichek and his staff were up about that same time. They've got work to do. I don't think this is a shock to them the last couple days that Eric Musselman was exploring opportunities. I think they've known about that for quite some time. Let's get this show on the road. Let's find out who our next head basketball coach is, and let's move forward with this basketball program. All right, it is a fastball Friday on the morning rush. We'll probably talk more fast breaks than fast balls today, but... Uh... You're welcome to join us on the McClarty Daniel Hotline with your calls and your texts. We're brought to you by Farm Credit of Western Arkansas, your trusted leader for over a century, helping you keep your farm and your ranch running strong through the good and the bad times. Find one of their 26 locations for support for your operation, day or night. There's one near you. Go to myaglender.com. That's myaglender.com. Farm Credit is an equal housing lender. By the way, the number one baseball team in the country did get a game one victory over Ole Miss last night after trailing two to one in the six. Had some clutch hitting from the Eva Oloy, who's becoming a fan favorite here in Arkansas. Then Jared Spraglot added that additional home run. And so Arkansas ended up with a five to two victory. So congrats, to Dave Van Horn. Close out the series tonight, hopefully, and then maybe go for the sweep on Saturday. But at the task at hand, which is Eric Musselman. I know there's going to be thoughts on Moss exiting. I know there's going to be thoughts on who you want, and we will entertain those all throughout the morning via the McCarty Daniel Hotline. JT at Hot Springs is just relieved that it is over, finally. Now, it's not technically over from who you're going to hire, but at least the saga of Eric Musselman is over. You know where you're headed next, and you know it's not with Muss. You know the Muss bus is gone, and, uh, you know, there was good times, and there weren't a lot of bad times till this year. Um, so, so, I mean, was his, was, his, was his tenure successful? I don't know how you could describe it as anything, but wildly successful in many ways. Uh, disappointing, though, can also be a way you describe the way it ended because, mm -hmm. like a lot of fans, I feel jilted at the first sign of, of adversity, at the first sign of a little steeper slope, at the first sign of some rocky patch. In the field, you bolt. But that's just the nature of, of that's the nature of the coaching business. This idea that people are going to come and stay and you know sp spend fifteen or twenty seasons in your program and it's all going to be kumbaya, sweet sixteens, elite eights, final fours. It's just it's not reality anymore. And if you probably you know if someone did the research and added up all the hires that have been done. In the last decade, I bet the average tenure is probably around five years, if that. So, um, it, it, this is just the nature of this business. And listen, I, I don't think in this case it's true because I never felt like the fans were demanding or had turned. Some of these national reports, how the fans had turned on Eric Musselman, totally false. Fans here never turned on Eric Musselman. We didn't want him to leave. Whatever happened was behind the scenes. But we, the fans, in many cases, not just at Arkansas and other places, have created an environment and a demanding environment which runs these all, these guys off. Social media has done some of that. But at the same time, they've got their hand out more. Hey, give to the NIL. Give to our foundation. Buy higher price season tickets. You know, the demands on a fan are even more. So it's a two-way street. Glad Musk was here. Not necessarily glad he's gone, but I'm anxious to see what's next. I, I was thinking about playing some audio from some national guests this morning, but every piece of audio I thought about clipping out, uh, clipping out I would hear them say is what you just said, that the fans turned that's, on him. That's inaccurate. Which is ludicrous. It's incorrect. And I think every single one of you would attest to that. There was pushback once we found out he was exploring, and not just exploring, but taking a serious interest in other options. That's when, again, it went up. 
the word turned, I think, is a bridge nope. too far. And that's why I was really frustrated well, hearing some of the reporting yesterday, which I thought was pretty inaccurate when it comes that's to That's not that doing your homework. As a, as a fan. So, generally, we do not open up the phone lines in the first segment. But because of the nature of this topic and the timeliness of it, if you want to get in here with us, you can do so at 877 877- Three seven seven six nine six three on the McCarty Daniel hotline. We'll get to some texts as well, like uh, Ch- uh, Chaz in Fayetteville, who appreciates the memories, but don't let the door hit you on the way out. Dennis in Springdale is with me. I appreciate what he's done over a three-year span, but once the USC job came open, it's one of those things. Devin in Conway says, I'm pretty sad he's gone. Must has proven he could win get big games and recruit at a high level. Matt, He's glad to have Musk, but he agrees with the caller yesterday, jumped ahead, and is now moving on. David in South Arkansas says the Big Ten will chew him and USC up. The travel time that you've mentioned, and I just, Texas and Oklahoma are regionally close enough to the SEC where that addition makes sense. I don't think we fully understand how difficult it's going to be for Trojan dude, and Bruins athletics consist and Washington and Oregon. Dude, you jump a time zone and a half because obviously USC is at the very extreme edge of the Pacific time zone. You jump all the way over the mountain and you know what what what's the closest school other than obviously UCLA would be and then the the other Pac twelve schools, Nebraska? <laughs> oh, in the Big Ten, yeah, that's yeah, a great point. That's what I'm saying, you know, but we're getting off point. Make no mistake, in the next two or three years, and maybe maybe by next year, we'll see, Eric Musselman will have USC competitive. They'll be in tournaments. They'll be winning games. They'll be making second weekends. Don't fool yourself that he's going out there to lose. You know, that we, we know what quality of coach he can be. We saw it in our first, first few years with him. Mm-hmm. You know, don't kid yourself that what we saw this last year. Now, I've heard this opinion, and I, I think there's some merit to it. He was ahead of his time in the transfer portal and rebuilding a roster through transfers. I agree with that. And has the world caught up to him and his edge has been diminished? Possibly. But we saw the, the, the kind of coach he was and game prep and getting you ready for a game. Not sure he was always the best in-game decision maker. Didn't like didn't like the way he behaved on the sideline, but that's just my opinion. But I, I you know, I don't think we're gonna watch USC just st- stay stuck in the mud or flounder under Eric Musselman. Dude can coach and he'll have him winning ball games. We're gonna win this divorce though. Because this Maybe. was a messy divorce that is not as public as a lot of people may be seen. But it's not about that. I mean, it when is, you say winning the divorce, we'll what do you, the divorce. tell me what you mean mean by that. As in, put context to that. The Arkansas basketball program will still be fine. We'll still yeah. move forward, correct, and we'll end up still being in a quality situation even after okay. this divorce. Let me ask you this question: Who gets to the Sweet Sixteen first, USC or Arkansas? That's the million dollar question. I would, I, and I don't know the answer to that. And, and we can speculate, but and I don't know that that means who wins the divorce. But I'm just saying, you know, I, you're exact. Arkansas is going to be fine. There's plenty of money to hire a good coach. I'm not sitting here wringing my hands, worried that this is the end of the basketball program by any stretch. I think we will attract really good candidates. We got it, and, and I think it's a real opportunity. And I want to ask Clay. Clay's going to join us. Kind of a, a special uh, appearance by Clay this morning because I think a lot of you want to hear what Clay thinks on this. He'll be here at 8. He's wrote a new column at hitthatline.com. You can read and his thoughts on everything that unfolded over the last few weeks and leading up to yesterday. So if you get time, go to hitthatline.com and read that at some point today. Chuck will be here. I think here's where I was headed. I think this is a real opportunity for the U of A to hire the right person to get everyone energized about NIL and how it could affect the athletic department, including the basketball program. I was talking with some guys last night. Hey, listen, you know, we all live at, you know, in different budgets and got different expendable income, but a lot of us could put 25 or 50 bucks a month on our credit card and it wouldn't affect our lifestyle. Right. 
But you're not doing it. I'm not doing it. And no one I know that can afford a lot more than that is doing it either. Why? Because they don't believe in it. They don't believe in the whole premise of it. They, they haven't had somebody flip that switch with the general public. Here's an opportunity, perhaps, to hire the right coach, to hire the right person that could deliver the right message. And instead of what, what the guy say, 500 people that have joined the edge program to support Arkansas NIL, 500 means 300, by the way, um, cause that's a preacher's count. Now, maybe you could get that drive for five and 5,000 accomplished. It's going to take somebody that can come in here and energize. And I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm saying here's an opportunity to make it happen. Let's talk to Ryan in Hot Springs before we get a break. Ryan, what's up, man? Oh, not much. Y'all kind of answered my question. Uh, I got a friend of mine that lives in Memphis, and uh, out of the blue, he goes, I guess Musk got fed up. And I said, I didn't um, I didn't ask him where he got that, but I, it kind of puzzled me a little bit. And I'm like, well, I said, I don't think it's that. I said, uh, we, we pretty much have known since he got the job that he would want a job to go out, out west, and it finally happened. So y'all kind of answered that question. I had not heard that about the uh, – about the uh, – some of the talking heads saying that we had turned on him. Oh, you know, in the frustrating part of the first, it, it, Dude, frustrated, it's just national people not doing their homework. That's all it is. Right. Well, like I said, I had not heard that. But, you know, the frustrating part about all this is this rough patch, he did to himself. I mean, he made that team. Mm -hmm. uh, and even during all the struggles of the rough season, we still supported him. 90% of the, of the fan base did not want him to leave. That's that, uh, you are correct. Um. So, I mean, that's the frustrating part is we didn't want him to leave. We still supported him in a rough year. Um, and I, I think that's I think that's where a lot of this fan base's frustration is coming from. Is, and you nailed it on the head this one, Tommy. I mean, he, he kind of he kind of showed his yellow belly a little bit. And I'm yep. not saying that to be ugly. I'm just I – mean, that, that is kind of what Back. happened. Tommy got tough Back. and he left. Yeah. If, uh, if, I mean, Ryan, if, but, if, if he had – made the tournament this year and got eliminated in the round of 32. And, and you know, it was just, it was not as good a year as the other ones, but it, you know, and he left to go home under different circumstances. I don't think anyone would feel maybe the way they feel jilted this morning if he had left on a better note, because I think we can all understand going home and taking a job back closer to our roots. This just has the feel of you're running from something rather than running to something. Well, and also too, it had it had it just like had the USC job already been open after the end of the season, and he went and left home instead of you know the rumors of him going to Louisville or SNU or um, and and just and just went right out of the gate instead of you know him hauling around about it. I think I think that would also be a little bit different scenario too. We'd be a little more understanding as well. Um, I, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that he was that he was exploring and had he just went right out of the to USC, which obviously that couldn't have happened, but I'm just had that scenario happen. I think we'd be talking about a little bit of situation as well. Yeah. None but, of us uh, that's my thought. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate it, Ryan. No one, no one likes a wandering eye and it did feel like there was a wandering eye. I just always, I pump the brakes a little bit because a lot of that wandering eye reporting comes from media that didn't do their homework, social media. And, and, and we never really know how much, real interest there was behind the scenes. But, you know, an opportunity back home, I think we could have all understood it and accepted it a little a little better under different circumstances. It doesn't matter now. The milk is spilt, and uh, it's time for Hunter Your Check to clean it up and find us find us someone new. Hey, largemouth bass are going to be spawning soon around area ponds and lakes all over Arkansas and Oklahoma. One of the best lures to catch them on at this time of the year is going to be the famous Yum Dinger made by Pradco. May make them by the truckloads in Fort Smith, and they're in three, four, five, and six inch sizes. You need to have all of them in your tackle box. Any bass angler anywhere in the country is going to have that yum dinger and be ready to grow, go with a wacky rigging on the five inch model. And you can't beat it when the, when the uh, bass are spawning and the water temperatures keep inching up. It's coming soon. Find the yum dinger at Walmart, Bass Pro Shops Academy, LureNet.com, and tackle stores all over the place. It's the yum dinger. More of your calls and texts coming up on the McCarty Daniel Hotline and Chuck Barrett in 15 minutes. The sign of a smart man is to understand that things change and to roll with those changes. And Ty, I applaud that you've done that. You're listening to The Morning Rush. 
spring camping season is here. Don't miss the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th at 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers behind Newt's. Sponsored by two of the state's largest RV dealers, Wheels RV and Moix RV. With brands you love like Grand Design, Jayco, Brinkley, Blackstaff, Coachman Catalina, Vibe, and Winnebago. On-site financing available plus food trucks, a variety of vendors, and downtowns for the kids. Make plans to attend the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th. 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway, Rogers. This is the Morning Rush. Touchdown, Arkansas! Do you need help with your next project? Metters Lumber True Value is here to help. A family-owned business since 1936, the staff has more than 90 years of experience in construction and the hardware business. If they don't have what you need, they know how to get it, and they are more than happy to accommodate your special order. So whether it's building a new deck, a paint project around the house, or needing a new set of tools, Metters Lumber True Value has everything you need. With locations in Alma, Ozark, and Clarksville, and you can shop online at MettersLumber.com. Metters Lumber True Value. Get ready for an adrenaline-packed weekend as the University of Arkansas Fort Smith baseball team hits Crowder Field on the UAFS campus April 12th through the 14th. The Lions host Cameron University in an epic four-game homestand. Kick off the excitement with the annual Teal Tailgate starting at noon on Friday, followed by first pitches at 1 o'clock daily and doubleheader action on Saturday. Admission is free. Visit UAFSLions.com for more details and run to the roar with your UAFS Lions. Precision Overhead Door features the finest quality materials, installation, and service for all of your overhead door needs. Fully licensed and insured with locations in Rogers and Fort Smith. Serving all of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Give them a call today at 844-PBS-STORE or online at PrecisionDoorNWA.com. Back-to-back winners of the Best of Award, Gold Best Garage Company in Northwest Arkansas, and also winners of the River Valley Precision Overhead Door. Tired of spending all your hard-earned cash at the gas pump right now? Wheeler Power Sports is here to help you out. They have a giant selection of motorcycles and scooters to help maximize fuel efficiency. There are over 50 scooters in stock right now, with some getting up to 100 miles per gallon. Wheeler also has a great selection of motorcycles from the Kawasaki, Suzuki, and Kimco. Check out their full inventory at wheelerpowersports.com or check out their showroom in person at 901 North 11th Street near downtown Fort Smith. Wheeler Power Sports. Keep it the good time. Rolling. Need a little extra cash? Go see Rusty at Golden Gym Pond, 310 West Center in Greenwood. Get the money you need with loans on jewelry, guns, tools, and electronics. If you're looking for a gift, they have a large selection of jewelry to choose from, and Rusty can take care of all jewelry repair. Stop by Golden Gym Pond today, 310 West Center in Greenwood, or call 996 2792. Open 9 to 5:30 Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and 9 to 3 on Wednesday. Golden Gym Pond. Hmm, let's see. Leaky faucet Tuesday. Water flooding the yard. Hmm, better put that down for the middle of the month when the bills aren't due. Honey, what are you doing? Planning our plumbing problems, of course. You can't plan our plumbing problems, but you should plan our plumber. What do you mean? Like all important contacts, I keep West Arc Plumbing in my phone. They're always there when we need them, and they don't overcharge since they know we don't plan our plumbing problems. Here, honey, here's their number. 646-5151. Thanks, babe. West Arc Plumbing. We keep you flowing. When it's time for breakfast, Calico County is making it all from scratch. Yet the dedicated early morning crew at Calico are cooking up and serving buttermilk pancakes, moist biscuits, rich waffles, country fried potatoes, three types of gravy, and of course their famous cinnamon rolls and much more. They serve all of this and a lot more seven days a week until 11 a.m. Stop in, call ahead, or get it to go. Or just come by and pick up a dozen cinnamon rolls for the office. For breakfast, lunch, dinner, or catering, roll on into Calico County. They're home cooking good. Calico County, just off Rogers Avenue behind Randall Ford. How do I drive more traffic to my website? How do I increase my Google rankings? If these are just a few of the questions you have for your business, then we should talk. In addition to sports radio marketing, ESPN Arkansas can help your business be found online. From website design to geo-targeted campaigns, search engine marketing, social media management, streaming video campaigns, and much more. ESPN Arkansas is your digital marketing partner. Go to ESPNArkansasDigital.com for your free digital marketing audit or email us at sales at hitthatline.com to schedule an appointment. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. Tommy Tri Tech, thank you guys for your support and go hog. Started with spray line. Here and here. Hits a drive to deep left field. Stay fair. Near the pole. It hits the fair pole. Jared Sprague line. 
with a ball off the fair pole in left field. Join the conversation. Call or text ESPN Arkansas on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 877-377-6963. And we've had plenty of people to do so already this morning as we're about 21 minutes in to the morning rush. You heard Phil Elson there, Jared Sprague lot. Big home run. Give Arkansas a little bit more of an edge last night in a 5-2 to two victory in Game 1. Overall miss. At some point, we will discuss the Arkansas baseball team. Yeah. But in the prevalent topic is Eric Musselman going out to USC and what you think about that. As far as conference games, Hagen Smith, I would say, labored a little bit more in that game. Obviously, gave up some early runs, but his pitch count, I'll be interested to see what Chuck thinks about that because pitch count was up over 100, what, 105 or 6. Where's that box score? I'll look at that in a second. But he had more pitches and fewer innings than he normally yeah, has. Yeah, he was over 100. He was 100. I, I think it was 111. Four or five. Yeah. Was it that many? Yeah, uh, he had, on, we have a, like this thing called a box score. He that will was tell us. one strikeout away. One oh five. Okay, one oh five. So yeah. he's one strikeout away from try from tying, At eleven. Uh, yeah. What's that guy's name? Walling. I think it's his name. It's in my game or in my notes somewhere this morning. But he's one strikeout away from moving into third all time. Uh, pass David. If he gets two, he's going to pass David Walling and become third so it's not a matter of if it's just when. yeah so he again he's even in a bad game what and he had some interesting comments about what he did last night versus what he would have done no. two years ago as a freshman too and right. dave did we'll get to baseball throughout the show scott Tabor will be with us in about an hour and uh he's fifth on that list i guess now in uh career strikeouts we'll talk to him coming up in uh, the next hour brought to you by alumni hall brought to you this morning also by apac arcola they have immediate openings in North uh, West Arkansas, North Central Arkansas, and other places as well. Maybe you're relocating into Oklahoma or Kansas or Missouri. There's jobs throughout this company, but they need to fill immediate openings right here in our own backyards. If you're a licensed CDL driver, heavy equipment operator, concrete finisher. We give those job titles a lot each morning, but there's other positions uh, in uh, APAC, Arcola, and APAC Central that might fit you. They have quarries, and they need help there. They've got heavy equipment. They need people to run that equipment. They need people to work on that equipment. Um, there's jobs in accounting. There's jobs in administration, sales, all of those things from time to time. But there's always great openings with a great company. My brother's worked there for, I guess, going on close to 20 years now and uh, absolutely loves the career he's had and uh, continues to have at APAC Central and APAC Arcola. Go to jobs.crh.com. That's jobs.crh.com. APAC Arcola is an equal opportunity employer. Being Clarksville wants to thank Eric Mussman, the 83 assistant coaches that he had in his time in Arkansas. It's a great, I, I, great text I, to you. I sense some sarcasm yeah. in that, uh, in that, uh, in those remarks. M Mason offers up this on the McCarty Daniel hotline. We're a passionate fan base. <laughs> we didn't turn on him. It's like your dad used to tell you, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I'd say that's a good response. Yeah. He brought us back to relevance. We owe him a tip of the cap. And wish his family the best. Now go offer Chris Beard the moon and let's focus on us. Woo pick. That name keeps coming up. I don't know. I mean Doesn't I, it I, seem I, like that's not li gonna li be it? Listen, the first the first handful of names that filter out via social media and all this other stuff, we need to just to limit. Was Eric Vesselman on anyone's list? Yeah. One, two, three, when the job came open after Mike Anderson left. The answer is no. Um no one knew but, who he was. You know, that the first few names are never the ones that end up hired. And I'm okay with that. Eric Busselman was not a household name in college basketball and really not in the NBA either or professional basketball household name. Mm -hmm. He was known to those that, that ran those circles. But, um, you know, the idea that you can't go hire a coach that's not a household name and have success, just look at the last mm -hmm. 100 hired. Hunter's a basketball guy. I think he's got a good nose and a good set of eyes for this. Um, I'm, you know, all all we can do at this point, good or bad, is trust him to get the right person. Let's text or let's talk to Jr. this morning on the McCarty Dana Hotline. Jr., what are your thoughts on this whole saga that just is uh, continues on? Hey guys, <clears throat> I think he he did a good job while he was here. He uh, he helped us through some tough times, going through a little bit of basketball hammering hires we had before we got him uh, brought life back to the program definitely had a handle on the portal uh, and had a handle that so i wish him the best i mean i i really think i you know i'm ready to move on it's not it's not no hard feelings or anything he just 
this is this is the age of professional sports now in college. So um, the other thing is this right here. I, I really think for most Arkansas fans, it if they get a handle on some type of contractual agreement with these kids and the money, it's insulting to ask people to donate to something that you don't get a guaranteed result from. And if you donate money to the NIL, that kid can take that money and go to another school, and there's no repercussions for that. So I think that needs to be handled by college administrators and all that before people are going to start donating because there's no guarantee of any results of that money. So well, y'all have a good day. Yeah, and, but what would a guaranteed result be? Unless you're talking about them sticking with your school, and I think that's – I don't know if that would hold up in court. I mean, until we reach a point – and I don't want to get way off subject, but – until we reach a point where there's some kind of union association, someone you can collectively bargain with on behalf of the players, we're never going to get this thing straightened out because there's no guardrails. And every time you end up in court, you lose it. it well, if you're the players, you win. If you're the NCAA and the schools, you lose. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what we do know. So they've got to get some way to set some guidelines because it's just ridiculous. There is no, this is not a business model that will sustain for either side. Mm -hmm. And on the subject of transfers, uh, Caleb Battle has entered the portal and uh, Bay Fall. So those are two other names. Still haven't <laughs> heard the word on. You may have on, to play next year. I know. That, and then we'd be <laughs> in real trouble in that situation. All right, we're going to take a, a break now because, again, we're a little past time. Chuck's going to join us momentarily here. And, again, if you want to jump in with all of us, do so at 877-377-6963. McCarty, Daniel Hotline. You can't solve any of these problems without a cocktail and a bar stool. That's just, uh, that's how you solve problems when you need a, when you need a new coach. And that's why TGI Fridays has doubled up on happy hour. Three to six, Monday through Friday, nine to close as well. They've got $5 appetizers and half price drinks. So get there today. You can watch some baseball tonight. They'll have it on the TVs. Uh, you can uh, sit with your buddies and figure out who the next coach is going to be. That's what we all want to do right now, right? Everywhere I went, that's the only thing people are talking about. And I promise you, TGI Fridays in Fort Smith, that's all they were talking about from 3 to 6 and 9 to close and probably from open to close as well. So don't miss happy hour twice daily, 3 to 6, 9 to close, half price drinks, $5 appetizers, and on Mondays, 50-cent wings. TGI Fridays, 540 at Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith. Chuck next. First off, thank you guys. Y'all get me going to work every morning, so I appreciate what you guys do. You're listening to The Morning Rush. Spring camping season is here. Don't miss the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th at 5102 at Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers behind Newt. Sponsored by two of the state's largest RV dealers, Wheels RV and Moix RV. With brands you love like Grand Design, Jayco, Brinkley, Blackstaff, Coachman Catalina, Vibe, and Winnebago. On-site financing available, plus food trucks, a variety of vendors, and downtowns for the kids. Make plans to attend the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th. 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway, Rogers. Tommy Craft for the Fence Man. If you've always wanted powered automatic gates at your home or business, but you didn't know who to call, let me tell you about the Fence Man. 479 782 3936. The Fence Man does it all custom wrought iron installations, automatic gates, even controlled access systems, and lots more. Ask about 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit. For your custom fence and gate needs, call the Fence Man. 479 782 3936. The Fence Man. He ain't afraid of no work. This is the morning rush great to be on here with you guys i think you guys do awesome work and i really enjoy listening to you and we're back with the action coke zero sugar might be the best coke ever that's right jim with an irresistible taste and zero sugar coke zero sugar is a must try for any sports fan so make sure you wait jim i didn't mean try it right now we're still on the air mm. best coke ever take a taste jen really no not right now jen we got a game to call. Sometimes I'm in a hurry. Stay in the slow lane, buddy. That's when I use the Sodis app to order my favorites and pick up in their drive-thru. They even offer a 10% discount on your first app order. Experience different at Sodis Wine and Spirits off I-540 on Phoenix Avenue. Every day is worth celebrating at Uncorked. Cocktails, wine, craft beer, bourbons, and unbelievably great food. Uncorked on Phoenix Avenue next to Sodis. 
Get ready for an adrenaline-packed weekend as the University of Arkansas Fort Smith baseball team hits Crowder Field on the UAFS campus April 12th through the 14th. The Lions host Cameron University in an epic four-game homestand. Kick off the excitement with the annual Teal Tailgate starting at noon on Friday, followed by first pitches at 1 o'clock daily and doubleheader action on Saturday. Admission is free. Visit UAFSLions.com for more details and run to the roar with your UAFS Lions. Hey, this is Dr. Charlie Liggett with River Valley Smile Center. We dial 782-8940. Coach Todd Holland, head baseball coach of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Lions. I call 782-8940. Stay cool this summer with a York High Efficiency HVAC unit. Or for more information on endless hot water and high efficiency tankless water heaters, give us a call at 782-8940. That's 782-8940. Hi, this is Melissa, owner of True Grit Running Company. Now that the weather has cooled down, it is the perfect time to get a jump start on those New Year's resolutions. We'll help you start your running journey off right with shoes handpicked just for you, based on how you run. Follow us on Facebook to learn more about our group runs of, for people of all paces, where we can give you advice and support on your running journey. Let us help you find your True Grit fit at True Grit Running Company, 6808 Rogers Avenue, Suite B, behind Chick-fil-A. Insurance company throwing you a curveball? Are they crowding the plate and not offering you a fair settlement? If you've been injured in a car wreck, you need an experienced attorney to fight for you. I'm Jackie Mock with Mock Legal Solutions. Licensed in Arkansas and Oklahoma, no win, no fee. Call Mock Legal Solutions today for your free consultation. 479-769-1505. Real advice, reasonable price. <laughs> Spring is just around the corner, and Jelco Outdoors is ready with all of your spring fishing gear. Crappie, bass, catfish, Jelco has a great selection of rods, reels, and baits to help you fill that stringer. Spring turkey supplies are rolling in daily, and the firearms department is stocked up with ammo for outdoor shooting. Spring is almost here, so get outdoors and enjoy the spring season. Stop by Jelco Outdoors, 4600 South Zero in Fort Smith. For all your outdoor gear, think spring, think Jelco Outdoors. Will your bracket be better than Matt Jones, Derek Ruskin, and the rest of the ESPN Arkansas team? Then prove it. Sign up for the HitThatLine.com Bracket Challenge presented by On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill in Fayetteville, 810 Billiards and Bowling in Fort Smith, and Shelter Insurance Agent Chris Dooley. Registration is easy. Just find the contest on HitThatLine.com. The HitThatLine.com Bracket Challenge is also brought to you in part by Walk On Sports Bistro, Century Bank of the Ozarks, Cafe Con Chisme, Links at Chaffee Crossing, and Foghorn's Wings. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. You're listening to The Morning Rush with Ty Richardson, Tommy Kraft, and Chuck Barrett. Ty gets all upset, clapping his arms in the conference room and raising hell with all the staff members. And, and he goes down there and they don't hire him. Smart move. Had, had a smart move on uh, their, their behalf. Not saying you can't put it back together. A lot of things to conquer. Bus has results on his side. Ty, there's your problem. But, uh, uh, well, I didn't mean you don't. I didn't mean you don't. That's not what I was suggesting. I didn't realize you know, that was so funny in the moment. You know, there's physical pain. We were actually funny then. And then there's emotional pain. <laughs> and I experienced the latter yesterday. I would think that after working with Chuck more than a year that he would he'd give me a little more credit. But can yeah, I, you think. You still, think. still got to hurt <laughs> We're still trying to find those results we I were did. looking yeah. for. I, I you would think that. Yeah. I listened to that this morning. I nearly fell out of my chair. I was yeah. laughing so hard. So, Chuck, as you just heard, with us. We can talk about uh, what I have to improve on also this basketball coaching search that we're yeah. about to experience. Chuck, it is our favorite time of the year. It is plane tracking season, my man. <laughs> yeah, it really is. And I suspect that the plane trackers are uh, geared up for uh, for another run. You know, I was, I was thinking last night um, – you know, since Coach Hatfield, we've not had a coach leave of his own accord. This is the first coaching search of your lifetime, Ty, where we've not been ready for the coach to leave. And it is different this time. But here's my take this morning. The Arkansas basketball job is better than it was five years ago. There's no question about that. Eric Musselman gets the credit for that. Um, they'll be able to go out and get a good coach. Um, I think there are big names in play. Um, I think there is a big name in play, frankly. 
And um, I would not expect this to take very long. I, I, th I think Arkansas is going to have a new coach soon. Timeout, timeout. All right, you think there's a big name in play. Every, there's all this smoke around Chris Beard. So I, I, I think assume he's in that's play. Who, so you, I mean, because there's Little Rock ties. I think he's in play. I, I mean, okay. I, I'm tell me why. I'm not going to say that? I think he's the guy, but I think he's in play. Okay. Yeah. So because I, I always I operate with a rule: the first two or three names you hear are never the ones. So okay. just to, just to dismiss and eliminate. Are you? Do I need to to park that rule? This this coaching well, search. Well, I'll go back to what I said just a minute ago. This is a different kind of coaching search. We've not fired the guy. Yeah. We didn't just run a guy off. We didn't spend two years, you know, tracking his every move, um, you know, letting him know very clearly, we don't want you here anymore. We've not done that. We've had the rug pulled out from under us in a certain yeah. sense. Our fans have. But our basketball program is in good shape. It is not as bad in NIL as people have been led to believe. I'm not saying it's great. But this idea that there's no money, um, hey, let me just be blunt right here. They spent, they spent plenty of money on these guys that came in last year, all these transfers. They spent a lot of money on those guys. There's a lot of NIL money that's changed hands <laughs> Way to make for me a feel lot better. of those guys. <laughs> we spent a lot yeah. of money like, yeah. for making yeah. me feel better, Chuck. Let me make you feel better. Great investment. <laughs> Here's my, well, that's my point is the NIL fund, there's nowhere where the NIL fund is such that you can afford to make mistakes. Hey, I, I, I can afford to make a bad investment here. My portfolio will be yeah, fine. Yeah. Nobody got, can do that. Well, hang on. Hey, let me I got finish. you this good deal on Enron. Let me show you about it. Well, <laughs> my point is this, is our program's okay. Yeah, oh, yeah I, you're, you're, you're spot on, 100%. Our, 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 our program's fine. Let, if Eric Musselman, hang on. If right. Eric Musselman wants to go coach USC, let him go. Right. We're going to be able to hire a good coach. And it may be the guy everybody wants. I don't know. I think he's in play. But I think others may be in play too. Yeah. But uh, um, the idea that, you know, we've been left at the altar and things are just going to be horrible and we have nowhere to go, that's not true. We're going to be fine. Yeah. And – I'm of the belief. You tell me if I'm on track. We paid Eric Mossman 4.2, which was number 12 in the in the in the country as far as money. I think if we want, if if Hunter needed to go to five million to get the one, I don't think that's a problem. Am I am, am I way off base that we we needed to pay someone? I don't know what five would get you, but I'm gonna guess top eight. I don't have that list, but I don't think four two is the absolute ceiling, is it? Well, I think there again, you've got to be smart now. You spend your money. Right. Um, Muss was the 12th highest paid coach in America. Right. Of the 11 coaches that were ahead of him, nine have been to the Final Four. Muss of the 12 top coaches mm. in America, mm. three of them had mm. not been to the Final Four, and Muss is one of those. Now, the only guy, and I've got the chart here, Buzz Williams makes more than Muss, <laughs> and that would grade on me. Yeah. Um, yeah. But – there's lots of people out there in the world that make more money than I do, and it grates on me. But that doesn't mean I don't come to work every day. That that's that's you know that's just part of life. But my point is is that this this position has been very well compensated, very fairly compensated. Some would argue beyond fairly compensated. Um, I appreciate everything Musk did. I enjoyed working with him. Um, the first year he was here. I can remember thinking to myself, it is going to be very bright. I mean, his star is going to shine very brightly while he is here, and then it'll fizzle out because that's generally how it works with shooting star type people, and that's what Muss is. And um, savor the great moments, thank him for building what he's built, be appreciative of the fact that it's a job now that the best coaches in America will want, and move on. Yeah, and that's what you do. And Hunter doesn't have to compete with an open job at Kentucky or UCLA or it's the or best someone. Job open. It's the best. And I'll say this: it's the best job that's been open. This I'd agree with this that. cycle. So to to this point now, so you also got to look at the landscape of the marketplace out there. And you know, when a job like a, a, a one of the blue bloods is open, then you kind of have to wait your turn to get your guy. Maybe if you're going after a top one that. As of right now, there is no 
better job, clearly better job open today. And I think if there was going to be other openings that schools created by firing their coach, we'd have done it because everyone's done playing except the four left in the uh, national semis and the, in the, in the final four in Arizona. So I don't think we've got a lot of competition as far as the marketplace goes for who you can go after. And it, does someone have to wait to see what happens elsewhere? Short of the blue bloods, short of an opening at the blue bloods, um, generally speaking, regardless of the year, this has a chance to be the best open job out there. This is the second best job in the SEC. If you step back and you right. look at it honestly, this is the second best job in the SEC. The SEC, you know, regardless of what happened in the tournament, um, you know, the SEC doesn't have to, you know, hang its head in shame over the way its basketball programs operate now. Big money, big games, big TV contracts, teams playing in the tournament, lots of them. They don't have anything to apologize for. Being the second best job in the SEC is good. And um, generally speaking, we would be able to attract a big name, big hire, guy that wants to be here. I think it's particularly true right now, though. We're going to be fine. Yeah. Looking here at the Bet Saracen app, I figured maybe they'll have a list of candidates up here with some odds on them. They they don't, yeah, they got they got softball up. They got baseball boys for this weekend. They got the NCAA tournament. I'll be interested to see if Bet Saracen you get that Bear, Bet Saracen app has, you know, Chris Beard three to one and <laughs> starts going through the, the list of odds on this thing. A few sarcastic sarcastic texts on the McCarty Daniel yeah. hotline on, on different things like Rick Patino or Billy Gillespie and and others. I've heard some <laughs> Billy Gillespie's been on every list. Yeah. Oh, every every time we've made a change, Billy Gillespie's been on somebody's hey, list. That's let, pretty funny. Let me throw out another name, uh, and I don't know. I I just love to hear y'all's response. This is a guy on the beach right now that I think isn't done. That's Bob Huggins. What What do you think when you hear that name? Do you want me to give him my no, honest opinion? No, lie to me, Ty. <laughs> okay, that's fine. He's he's on his way out. Uh, that's well, a, he is out right now, but I think he'd like to have a redemption story I somewhere. I think he would be hungry to win. I don't know if this is the right fit for him, but there's a name that I've seen tossed around with a few you, other jobs. You, you, Not with this you one. you say that name others. 10, 15 years ago when he's in Morgantown or even at Cincinnati, there's merit to that? I don't think so anymore. He hadn't had a I good, don't think he's at the top of your list. He hadn't had uh, a no, good, no, but he, and, and, and And frankly, I think Arkansas is in a position of strength right now. Um Again, they, they, our program's not at the bottom of the barrel. We've not had to fire a guy. We've not had a three-year tailspin that's led to a coach's dismissal. Um, it's not anything like that. When you find yourself in that situation, you're not really in a position of strength, yeah. and you may not get the first guy. And it goes back to what we were talking about a bit ago. We've conditioned ourselves to believe that the first guy we want's not going to be the guy, but it's never been a situation where we've been in a position of strength. Um, with our football program, it was always who can we get to come in and pick up the pieces. And, in, and it's been that way at times with our basketball program, too. It's not that way this time. Uh, there's, there's, there's a winning template in place. And you've got an athletic director that I believe, um, particularly for basketball, is a very, very good boss to work for. And um, – I feel very strongly in saying when this is all said and done, um, we're going to be fine. Hey, if you're buying or selling a home and you want it to be fine at the end, Weicker Realtors, the Griffin Company is the name to remember. You know, we read, I read, you read all kinds of information about the housing market every day. Um, it's good here. It's bad here. This is going to happen. That's going to happen. The truth is, I don't know. Most of us don't know. That's why you need now more than ever to partner with a true real estate professional, someone that does this every day, someone that keeps up not just with what's happening here, but but keeps up with, with the business, so to speak, remains a student of their business. That helps you. That helps you if you're a buyer or a seller. You're not dealing with a part-timer. You're not dealing with a side gig. You're not dealing with somebody who's paying for vacation. You're dealing with somebody who does this every single day. Now, my experience as a buyer and a seller with Weikert Realtors, the Griffin Company, was terrific. They got me from contract to close. 
I didn't always know what was going on, but they listened to me and they made it happen at the end of the day. I think that'll be your experience too. They've got offices in Northwest Arkansas. They're in Washington County. They're in Benton County. They're in Fort Smith. They're in Branson. You're going to see their yellow signs all over town and you can log on to wikergriffin.com. Let me tell you one thing that's got me a little hacked off about all this is some of these, and y'all have seen them too, these screenshots from some of these national guys. I saw one from Jeff Goodman. There's others out there that, you know, making the, the, the case or painting the picture that this fan base turned on Musselman and, and how quick it happened and, and really painting what I think is a totally false narrative of our fan base and the school. And, I don't, I don't worry about that from a coaching standpoint because coaches that are plugged in and would be into the search would know better. What it bothers me about is guys that would be in the transfer portal, guys looking from afar to maybe mm-hmm. come here and have the wrong impression of what happened on Muss's way out the door. You've seen it, Ty. Chuck, I, I know you're not as, as active on social media, but this really pisses me off because it's painting a picture of our fan base and our school and our program on a national level, that's just simply false. Well, uh, you always have to wonder where guys get their information. My suspicion yeah. very strongly in the case of Jeff Goodman is, is that came from, um, and, and I hate to use such a broad term, but, but Muss's camp. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think they've got a relationship and uh, I was not surprised to hear Jeff Goodman say some of the things that he said along the way. Not that I think it was mean spirited necessarily. I just think, you know, you could tell where he was getting his information from, yeah. who it's, he was, what he was repeating, I yeah, guess is what yeah. I'm saying. This fan base had didn't turn softer, him up. No. softer landing for him landing in Los Angeles. It looks like it, it makes it better why he's You're leaving. Right. I, that, that, that was, Chuck, you and I agree. I, I agree 100%. That was my, when I saw yep. those, that's what I initially thought. Yeah. But I, that's, again, that's irritating. I think it's irritating for everyone because even in the midst of what was going on yesterday and the day before, you can make a case that Arkansas had not even at that juncture of the road, which is, again, recruiting the recruiting aspect. It's not as big for the coach. Coaches know what's yeah. real. Recruits are on social well, media consistently. As we've seen, though, with Josh Cohen already, guys, as much as we might like to think otherwise, they're not coming necessarily to play for the Arkansas Razorbacks. That's a good point. They're coming to play for that coach. You hire the right guy, and no coach out there is going to be phased by what Jeff Goodman said. They couldn't care less. Nope, that's right. You hire the right guy, uh, this stuff doesn't matter. Yeah, and I would say, and you asked a great question yesterday, who's Musk working for? He's working for USC well, the last couple well, of days. He so was working, working for yeah. Team Musk. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and look, I'm not – casting stones. I know how the game works. I never thought for a minute Josh Cohen was committing to the University of Arkansas. Josh Cohen was committing to Eric Musselman. Mm-hmm. That's what happened. Muss didn't sell him on Arkansas when he came. He sold him on Muss. And when Muss went to USC, he went with him. And that one, as Coach Richardson once said, Ray Charles could have seen that one coming. Yeah. I want to go back to what you said about Hunter Yurchek because I think this is an interesting dynamic right now within the confines of the Board of Trustees, him, uh, Chancellor Robinson, and NIL bigwigs. Because in in today's climate of college athletics, and it was similar with the Razorback Foundation and having to deal with certain members and, and their, their pushing their funds and having to, to get in their opinions, that's even more complicated now because of the money that is involved in this. So while Hunter may have his opinion, this is just my opinion, while Hunter may have his opinions, while he may want to do things a certain way during this process and may go with a certain guy, I tend to think that the biggest money donors at Arkansas are going to have the biggest impact on this coaching hire. I don't well, know. that's always the case. I, I, I mean, you always hear from your biggest donors. I, I think NIL is what it's all about now. Um, I think if you're going to attract a coach, you have to um, you have to have some NIL things and, going. And let me that's, that's that's part of the package you put together. Yes, and let me bridge off that conversation, Tommy. You made a point earlier that I think is well made about this is an opportunity for Chris Bauer and Arkansas Edge yep. to gain some ground. I would also say, as a guy that grew up in Little Rock, Arkansas, for 18 years, and now predominantly am in Northwest Arkansas in the River Valley. This is a way to bridge those communities on this hire. I don't know who that hire is specifically, but there has been, we've talked about the deterioration, at least 
potentially, allegedly, between Hunter and Eric. As Northwest Arkansas continues to grow and prosper, the rivalry continues to blossom between those two, and we'll see what happens with War Memorial. But this hire, I don't know how. I'm not the wisest one in the room, but you've got to find a way to combine Little Rock and Northwest Arkansas into one full agreement because yep. that gap continues to widen in this state. We are not going to be a successful athletics department overall, not just in basketball, but overall, if there's continuous mal and discontent with our own Arkansans. Well, you're right about that, but my my opinion is we had Chris Bauer on. He told us they had 500 people that had signed up to help the Edge Fund, and that started in November. 500 means 300. That's what that really means, folks. And go ask your friend circle. I mean, you know, some of us, the, the budget's a little tighter, but a lot of people could afford between 25 and 50 bucks a month. And I haven't met one person yet that says, yeah, I'm giving them, I'm giving them month, monthly money because we don't believe in the premise of it. We don't believe in the principles of NIL as, as a people. Here's a chance maybe to get a hire in here that unifies everybody on that, energizes people and gets that thing kick started because something has to happen to get the crowdsourcing part of it. But that that's only one piece. Chuck, you've got to go get the big boys with the fat wallets that can write those checks with two commas. That's what's going to make the difference. And I don't believe they're going to do that till more people of our state say, hey, this is something we want to get behind. This is something we believe in. And more importantly, something we'll financially support. I think there's truth to that. But I think in the terms of a coaching search, I don't think that comes into play. I think in a coaching search, I, I'm not dismissing what you're saying. I think generally speaking, you're exactly right. But I think in a coaching search, you've got to have that big money lined up now. Mm -hmm. That's got to be part of the package now. I hear what you're saying, and that will come if you hire the right guy. All that will happen. So it's but an to get the right guy, to get the right guy, you've got to have your money up front. You just do. Yep. And then you build from there, and you hope, as you're saying, all this other stuff will pay you back. Yeah. Hey, Will's RV, we're going to be there this time next week. Chuck, you and I are wedding boys, going to be off somewhere else. But uh, wedding. <laughs> a wedding boy over here. But uh, we're going to be at Will's RV next Friday, getting you ready for the NWA RV show and outdoor party. It's going to be the day before the red-white game. Yeah, they're, they're still having that. <laughs> Regardless of the coaching search, they're going to have that. We're going to be there Friday morning getting you ready to go then. April 13th and 14th will be the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party. Going to be in Rogers, right behind Nukes on Whitaker Parkway. Wills and Moix are combining up to bring all the best brands to one place, financing on site, food trucks, bounce houses for the kids, and more. It's the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party, April 13th and 14th in Rogers. Come make craft for the fence man. If you've always wanted powered automatic gates at your home or business, but you didn't know who to call. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel Hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McClarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McClarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McClarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the fence man does it. The fence man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. It's a dandy white perch. Big old slab. 
C'est bon, Sakhalin. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouth. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice spec. We got crappie. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite, white perch, slab, sockele, paper mouth, crappy, speck, crappie baits. I call it dinner. The tournament is here. Bet Online is your bracket headquarters for this season with the best bracket contests out there and odds, lines, and info on every game and every round right up to the national championship. You can access the most up-to-the-minute wagering information anytime from your desktop or your mobile device and even track your bracket real-time all the way through the tournament. Head to Bet Online today and get in on all the action. Remember to use the promo code BELIEVE for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online. The game starts here. Are you looking for the best Razorbacks insight and analysis? Hell yes. How about listening to an Arkansas football legend? Matt Jones. All he does is make big plays. What's the voice of the Hogs have to say? Hey, what a great crowd last night. Don't forget about the Omahogs. The Hogs are going to Omaha. Matt Jones, Chuck Barrett, and Phil Elson, the best in the business on the Hit That Line podcast network. Go to hitthatline.com or search Hit That Line wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share. Madonna has gone from like a virgin to like a surgeon. You can try to nip and tuck from the curse of sin, but eventually death is going to win. God will do major surgery on this sin-filled world, and when he does, people will try and hide their faces from him. Even plastic Christians won't be exempt. Look up Isaiah chapter 2 and see how the spiritual world renders this an immaterial world. I'm Pastor Abe from Woodland. Read about it. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel Hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McClarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McClarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McClarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the Fence Man was my first call. The Fence Man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the Fence Man does it. The Fence Man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. It's a dandy white perch. Big old slab. C'est bon, Sakhalin. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouth. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice spec. We got crappie. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite white perch, slab, Sakhalin, paper mouth, crappie, spec, crappie baits. I call it dinner. The tournament is here. Bet Online is your bracket headquarters for this season with the best bracket contests out there and odds, lines, and info on every game and every round right up to the national championship. You can access the most up to the minute wagering information anytime from your desktop or your mobile device and even track your bracket real time all the way through the tournament. Head to Bet Online today and get in on all the action. Remember to use the promo code BELIEVE for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online. The game starts here. Are you looking for the best Razorbacks insight and analysis? Hell yes. How about listening to an Arkansas football legend? Matt Jones. All he does is make big plays. 
What's the voice of the Hogs have to say? Hey, what a great crowd last night. Don't forget about the Omahogs. The Hogs are going to Omaha. Matt Jones, Chuck Barrett, and Phil Elson, the best in the business. On the Hit That Line podcast network, go to hitthatline.com or search Hit That Line wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share. Madonna has gone from like a virgin to like a surgeon. You can try to nip and tuck from the curse of sin, but eventually death is going to win. God will do major surgery on this sin-filled world, and when he does, people will try and hide their faces from him. Even plastic Christians won't be exempt. Look up Isaiah chapter 2 and see how the spiritual world renders this an immaterial world. I'm Pastor Abe from Woodland. Read about it. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air, Plumbing, and Electric. It's never too far away. You don't need to wear a ball cap, man. You need to let those golden locks flow. You know, the late Heath Ledger had a great line in the dark night. It's pretty simple. And here we go. Here we go. Plane tracking season. Our fans love this scene. See where Hunter is right now. Where he's flying to. Apparently some fans he's think he's heading to Phoenix this weekend for the Final Four. His picture was taken. I don't know if it's accurate or not, but fans are Hope under is. the impression that he is going to be in Phoenix for the Final Four this weekend. I don't know if it's true or not. I hope he is. Every coach in America is going to be there. So be a lot of connections down there. It would be what your you and your boys would call a target rich environment. Uh but for different reasons. So hang on, hang on, Chuck. Oh, hang on. Go start start that over. Go ahead. He, he's on the college football selection committee. They're having a meeting out there in conjunction with the Final Four. That's why he's there. Now, I'm sure he'll go to the Final Four. That's why they hold the meeting in yeah. conjunction with the Final Four. But he's on that selection committee now, and they've got a meeting out there. Yeah. And we need to also recognize, because like all these reports that had Muss in L.A. two days ago interviewing, totally false, never left Fayetteville. All that was done via Zoom or Google Meet or whatever, you know, I don't know what software they use, but but the point is interviews don't have to take place in person. We do them every day in our normal walks of life for all of us talking and listening. So the idea that Hunter Juracek couldn't conduct an interview with a qualified candidate over Zoom or whatever, uh, you know, you got to put that in your calculus as well. Interviews don't have to take place in person any longer. Yeah, and and, and before we get to the calls, we got three of them here on the McCarty Daniel Hotline. Got about... 30 texts I have to sit through. Uh, as we're hiring here at ESPN Arkansas for a part-time position, I hope Hunter Yurtek does the exact same thing when it comes to money first. I've gotten questions, what's the salary? First question out of the break. Take them off the list. That's going in the trash, yeah. resume-wise. <laughs> that pisses me off. So if a coach asks Hunter the first thing out of his mouth, what am I going to make? I hope he throws his resume in the trash. Maybe that's not the right way to go about it, but... That's how I feel about that. Joe is in Avoca this morning on the McCarty Day Hotline. Joe, what's going on? What's up, my man? Good morning, guys. How y'all doing? Good. I've been up all night. Just uh, finally got my daughter's car fixed. Went through three engines and finally got it fixed. Finally. So I don't have to drive her to the Walmart general office today in the Voca. I've been doing that for a month. That'll that'll save you an hour. Oh yeah. I can't, I can't tell you how happy I've been to drive that. Anyway. What's up, Joe? Let's go, bus. Get Get the you know what out of here. We're sick of you. I'm tired of him showing his uh you know what uh, strutting like a rooster, a five seven dude. He he don't deserve to coach big guys. He doesn't deserve. Joe, appreciate the call. I I mean he's gone. You know to you can wish him well. He's he's definitely out of here. You know Joe's normally a caller. You turn up the radio for you normally i think joe got stuck up in, too early he got yeah the afternoons is more his Uh-oh. his stick neil's in siloam this morning on the mccarty daniel hotline neil save us from that call go ahead neil all right put neil back on hold let's go to kenny in panama city 
Good morning. How morning. are y'all? Good, man. What do you got? Uh, first, I just want to say I am glad it's we finally know what's going on with what was going on with Mus, and it's over because I was tired of all the negativity and all of that. And I wish Mus well. He did a great job while he was here, but hopefully we can get a someone new who can continue on whatever Mus was doing. Uh, what are y'all thoughts on bringing in Big Nasty as a coach? He's had oh. NBA experience. He's had... I saw he had assistant coaching experience, I think, and I don't know if he's been a head coach in the NBA also, but I, uh, I guess what, is, what are y'all thoughts on that? Or has anybody asked that yet this morning? I'm just getting on. I usually listen through YouTube. All right, Kenny, or, thanks, for, thanks for the call. If you're, I don't think Corliss Williamson is a – candidate and and you're the first to mention it i'll just guys I'll i love there. corliss williamson i can never do in, in in my entire life what he did for the state that one night in april against duke and what he did over the course of his collegiate career that would not be a good hire at uca he did not have a winning season he's a good nba assistant he's he's not our head basketball coach and well i, I mean it's not even being considered i i mean it's not yeah. even being considered all right let's try neil again neil are you with us this morning no. All right, let's knock Neil right, off. Guys, we got to pick it up out there. Jeez, Lee. This yeah, is prime but... time. We're at a coaching search. We got we to gotta pick it up as callers out there, right? We got Brent. Brent right. is Neil, with we us. We need a 30-second timeout to go over this. Here. Brent, go ahead. <laughs> Good morning, fellas. All right, save us, Brent. Uh, I've got one thing to say. Uh, let's keep it moving, keep it grooving. Uh, let's get Chris, let's get uh, all I'm hearing, let's get Chris Beard here today. Today, uh, not even through the weekend. Today, you know, Mus did had a good. I don't wish him any ill will. He did a great job at the University of Arkansas. And when you get right down to it, uh, I thought maybe three. I thought two to three years would be his uh, shelf life here. So he's a mover. He's a nomad. So you can't hold that against him. Let's let's just keep it go. Let's just keep it going. Brent, is, uh, is Chris Beard going to throw out the first pitch tonight? <laughs> I'm, I told, I'm just glad we played Ole Miss and I hollered at their fans when they got ahead two to nothing. They said uh, they were clapping. I said, it's going to take more runs than that. We're fixing to steal your base, your basketball coach. <laughs> now we're talking. There you go. Well, we're you talking. are exactly right in, in terms of the first thing. You ended up coming back to win. Don't know if you're going to end up. Sealing their basketball coal. We'll have to wait and see. Joe is in Jasper this morning on the McCarty Daniel Hotline. Keep them coming, 877 377 6963. What's up, Joe? Uh, yeah, I haven't heard you guys mention a lot. Uh, you know, we've got all our favorite candidates, you know, Will Wade, Chris Beard, but throw me some names out there that nobody really thinks of. You know, whenever we hired much, it was a name that nobody was really thinking of until it got thrown out last minute. Who do you guys think we might bring in here that nobody's expecting? Bucky McMillan, the Sanford head coach that should have been Kansas in the round of 64 this year, or the round of 68, whatever it was. If you want an off-the-wall hire, a young guy that I think could have success here, plays the style Arkansas fans would like, up-tempo, that would be my mid-major pick if I'm going to just throw a name out there. Rather than throw a name, I'm going to throw a, a mold. I think you're looking for someone late 30s, in their 40s, that's defensive-minded. I think there's a lot of people that probably fit that. But I think you want a defensive-minded first coach. I think that's what Hunter Juracek will look at. Uh, it's what works at Arkansas. And if you look at Eddie Sutton and Nolan Richardson and the two greatest coaches as far as results we've ever had, they were both guys in their 40s that played defense first. Yeah. And I don't think that's a bad place to start. It's kind of like, uh, you know how we talk about the football program? It has to be someone you have to be able to run the football. Like Pittman always prides itself on being able to run the football. Bobby said the other day, we got to be able to run the football. That's what it, That's what you have to do in basketball. Run the football? <laughs> That's that, that that comparison, sorry. As I in, got like, got to play defense in basketball. You got to have that you. mentality. You got to have it in football for running it. <laughs> I think this job right now, and, and, and look, I may be proven to be wrong. I don't think the job goes to a mid-major coach this time. Um, this is, the again, the 12th highest paid job 
in America under Musk. It doesn't mean necessarily that you pay the new guy exactly what he was making. I'm not saying that. But, again, we are in a position of strength. Mm -hmm. Musk was hired when we were not in a position of strength. And I'm not saying it wasn't a great hire. I, I'm glad Hunter hired him, and that's a, that's a grand slam. Um, but we'd fired a coach. And we'd fired a coach because we weren't winning enough. This time we've not fired a coach. We had a bad year, but we've not fired a coach. Three of the last four years we've been in the Sweet 16, twice in the Elite Eight. So we're in a position of strength right now. Um, I think that makes this coaching search different. Um, it, it, it's not just a matter of, hey, this is the first guy we've had leave us on his own accord since Coach Hatfield. It's the coaching search is all different now. Yeah. Our basketball program's in a position of strength. Yeah. We're in a position of strength. There are 15 to 20 coaches in America right now that would not be interested in this job because they've got it good where they are. Everybody else is in play, and I mean everybody. Brian's in Farmington this morning. Thank God he's not in Ozark. What's up, Brian? Hey, uh, this this whole situation is one that everybody's so focused on Musselman, but I'm very concerned that uh, – I'm a, you know, Chuck's not going to like probably what I'm going to say here, but, <clears throat> you know, I grew up in Fayetteville, and, um, you know, here's the thing. Juracek has self-promoted himself in the Sears Trophy a lot the last few years. He's been worried about some of the wrong things. He defends himself saying, oh, I jumped on NIL quickly, but he, uh, he jumped on NIL quickly and setting up a system. But our problem is is that, you know, he didn't, he did not, he resisted NIL. He didn't believe in it. I'm not sure I believe in it, but the thing is, though, is that everybody else in college basketball and football and everything else has jumped on NIL, oh. and I'm proud of us as a program that we have not been ones that wanted to cheat like the Alabamas and the Ole Misses and the Auburns and the LSUs <laughs> of the world, but now it's legal, and you have to play the game, and we're in the SEC, and it's a conference that cheats like no other, yeah. and it, we have to get much more aggressive. Well, you know, basically, when you get to the point where you set up the NIL and then you put the Razorback Foundation in charge of the NIL, Razorback Foundation sees the NIL as a threat to their own funding. And if I'm sitting there and I'm one of the rich guys and I've got, I've been donating $100,000 a year to the Razorback Foundation, and you come to me and say, hey, I, you want more money for NIL, and then... I'm sitting there looking at going. Okay, you know what? I, the economy's tight. All I've got is a hundred thousand. I can't add on top of the hundred thousand and say, okay, I'm gonna give another fifty thousand on top of the hundred thousand to NIL. You know, when you've got the Raceback Foundation running both, you got a problem. Well, Brian, Brian, I think you make good points about the competition for dollars, but I, I don't think they have not been out in front of NIL. They were one of the first athletic departments in the country with Terry Prentice when he was here to establish. You know, an NIL Flag, office flagship in flagship. So I, I think you're you're part right, but I don't think I think you're off base on the embracing of NIL. And I don't know that the the foundation's running edge necessarily, but there is Brian. You are correct. There's competition for dollars, and the well the well only runs so deep. Let me throw this out here too, and and look, I I, I know people are um, have a wide variety of feelings about NIL, and I do too. Um, this is obviously how it's going to be played now. And we kind of talk out of both sides of our mouths. We say, well, they're not doing a good job securing the big dollars. But then we say, but I don't have the money. Yeah, I can't give that kind of money. Um, we're all waiting on somebody else to do it. Mm -hmm. Now, again, as I said a minute ago, when you're searching for a coach now, your NIL package is part of the deal. But that can come together very quickly. That can come together very quickly. Mm -hmm. Schools have the money. Like, if you want to go out and say, I I'm going to go pay $5 million for a coach, you're not as dependent upon your big boosters to help you pay for that as you once were. Television money helps you pay for that now. You know, you're the, 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 the guy that would spend $5 million to help you hire a coach 15 years ago well, that guy may put five million dollars into your NIL this time, and you've sold your and, building out for two years in a row. So, and 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 I think that if you hire the right guy, or if you put this package together with the right person, 
you'll have NIL money before he's ever introduced at the press conference. Um, and and I, I get the sense now in college basketball particularly with the movement going on right now, and it's going to become this way more and more in college football too. Um, I just think the, the, the timing of it hits the basketball cycle right now. Um, I think all that stuff's going to be part of the overall package that you put together for a guy. You identify your guy. Um, look, of the names that we've heard thrown out there thus far, what kind of NIL package is going to be a real, real big part of the equation? Uh, you've got to hire someone that helps you put that together in a hurry. And by in a hurry, I mean like in a couple of hours, <laughs> maybe a couple of days at the most. you got to get quick pledges in a situation like this. The point's well made about the competition for dollars. That's why ultimately I do think you'll see a revenue share set up because it benefits everybody and it eliminates some of that. You've had competition for dollars on college campuses for years. Um, I mean, my gosh, you know, philanthropy period's a thriving industry now. Um, if you got money, somebody's after it. So um, that's just kind of how it works. But I think if the right package is put together, and I believe that's happening, just just for the record, I believe that's happening. Um, I think I think you'll see the right guy. All right, we got to take a break. Unfortunately, uh, Ken, I didn't know there was a Mansfield, Missouri, but that's where he's at. Allen, I know where it is. You do well. Yep, that's we'll you. The way we'll, to we'll get Louis. to it coming up. Yeah, we'll get to it coming up again. Cardi Dana Hotline. We got one more collar open, and we'll also talk with Scott Tabor momentarily as well. All right, all covered up. Morning Rush Daily Question is next. Don't touch my beef jerky. You're listening to the Morning Rush. Spring camping season is here. Don't miss the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th at 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers behind Nukes. Sponsored by two of the state's largest RV dealers, Wheels RV and Moix RV. With brands you love like Grand Design, Jayco, Brinkley, Blackstaff, Coachman Catalina, Vibe, and Winnebago. On-site financing available plus food trucks, a variety of vendors, and bounce house for the kids. Make plans to attend the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th. 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers. This is the Morning Rush. Child's please! Touchdown! Will your bracket be better than Matt Jones, Derek Ruskin, and the rest of the ESPN Arkansas team? Then prove it. Sign up for the HitThatLine.com Bracket Challenge presented by On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill in Fayetteville, 810 Billiards and Bowling in Fort Smith, and Shelter Insurance Agent Chris Dooley. Registration is easy. Just find the contest on HitThatLine.com. The HitThatLine.com Bracket Challenge is also brought to you in part by Walk On Sports Bistro, Century Bank of the Ozarks, Cafe Con Chisme, Links at Chaffee Crossing, and Foghorn's Wings. Barrels and Brews Bottle Shop at the Hub and Chaffee Crossing has everything you need for your favorite activities. Our knowledgeable staff will be glad to help you with the current specials and our new arrivals of must-have bourbons and whiskeys. Hit the cooler for some of the coldest beer in town or choose from our large selection of amazing wines. Order online or call ahead Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. at the Hub in Chaffee Crossing. Barrels and Brews voted best of the best in Fort Smith. It will put a smile on your face. Get ready for an adrenaline-packed weekend as the University of Arkansas Fort Smith baseball team hits Crowder Field on the UAFS campus April 12th through the 14th. The Lions host Cameron University in an epic four-game homestand. Kick off the excitement with the annual Teal Tailgate starting at noon on Friday, followed by first pitches at 1 o'clock daily and doubleheader action on Saturday. Admission is free. Visit UAFSLions.com for more details and run to the roar with your UAFS Lions. Have you heard? TGI Fridays is having happy hour Monday through Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. to close with half price drinks and $5 select appetizers, including potato skin, spinach dip, pot stickers, and much more. Plus, you can get in on 50 Cent Wing Monday from 5 p.m. to close and karaoke on Tuesdays and Thursdays starting at 8 p.m. It's all at TGI Fridays, I-540 and Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith. Do you need help with your next project? Metters Lumber True Value is here to help. A family-owned business since 1936, the staff has more than 90 years of experience in construction and the hardware business. If they don't have what you need, they know how to get it, and they are more than happy to accommodate your special order. So whether it's building a new deck, a paint project around the house, or needing a new set of tools, Metters Lumber True Value has everything you need. With locations in Alma, Ozark, and Clarksville, and you can shop online at MettersLumber.com. Metters Lumber True Value. Have your travel plans changed? 
Looking for a place that's close to home and keep your family safe? Gaston's White River Resort is located on the beautiful White River. They offer private accommodations in their lodges and cabins. Most cabins have a fully equipped kitchen or let their restaurant staff deliver to your cabin. Call 870-431-5202 and change your plans to Gaston's White River Resort. Gaston's White River Resort, a first-class time every time. The paint store in Van Buren is still the place to go to when doing the job right really matters. Our unique line of Richard's paint products was chosen by me to perform for you. This is Sue and my 35 years of experience ensures you get the right paint and the right color. That's important to you and me. Thank you for your support. Come see what I'm talking about. 1414 Fayetteville Road, The Paint Store, Van Buren. How do I drive more traffic to my website? How do I increase my Google rankings? If these are just a few of the questions you have for your business, then we should talk. In addition to sports radio marketing, ESPN Arkansas can help your business be found online. From website design to geo-targeted campaigns, search engine marketing, social media management, streaming video campaigns, and much more. ESPN Arkansas is your digital marketing partner. Go to ESPNArkansasDigital.com for your free digital marketing audit or email us at sales at hitthatline.com to schedule an appointment. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. It's time for the Red River Dodge Morning Rush Daily Question. Red River Dodge in Heber Springs, Arkansas's number one Ram dealer. Log on at redriverdodge.com. Your Honor, I'd like to ask for a recess. I'd like an answer to the question, Judge. The court will wait for an answer. There are questions pretty evident this morning. Who do you want as the next basketball coach? of the University of Arkansas. We've seen all these different texts, and there's been different opinions throughout the first hour and 20 minutes or so. We've got some calls to get to. Uh, heard Beard, Tang, Wade, and others. Uh, I'm going to throw a name out that I have I've grown fond of the last decade or so, and that is Shaka Smart. Now, I know we're not a huge fan of hiring former Texas head coaches. You might end up doing it if Beard is named the head coach. I have always enjoyed the energy that he displays on the sidelines. I don't think he goes over the top in officials like Eric does. And again, he gets animated like other college basketball coaches do. I saw an emotional guy when they finally reached, I guess, the Sweet 16 this year. They had a really good team in Marquette and what ended up being a really good conference in the Big East. Uh, Shaka Smart, to me, uh, while he's not the most popular name that's been tossed out there, if I had my druthers he would be the next Arkansas head basketball coach. As I said earlier, I think there are 15, 20, 25 guys that would not consider the job right now, and I, I think he may be one of them. You think he'd stay in Marquette in Wisconsin? Yes. I, he, again, that's more. That's where he's from. I'm not Could, saying it's a better job. Yeah. I'm saying that um, I think that's where he likes being. Yeah, and there, there's, there's, there's probably some truth to that based on – uh, just some scenes and, and not incidents, but occurrences that I've seen. He really seems. But I agree, he's a very good coach. I I mean, he took VCU to the Final Four, and uh, I know it didn't work out for him in Texas, as we've had some textures point out. But I I just think that it would work. I think it would play well to our base and our fans. Don't know if he's going to get There's the job here. One thing that's very important, and I think you know Chris Beard and. You know, Will Wade, I think these guys have an understanding of that, and that's what makes them attractive, is that there's a difference in running a program where you are the center of attention 24-7 and where you can fade into the woodwork a little bit, mm -hmm. which you can do at Marquette, which you can do at Virginia Commonwealth. You can't do that at Texas, and you can't do that at Arkansas. Um, there's a difference between Nevada and Arkansas. And I think Eric Musselman found that out. As 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 spotlight as L.A. is, um, when he wants to hide out there, he'll be able to now, because there's ten other teams out there that, and so much going on in L.A. Period, that his every movement's not going to be news. When he wants to hide, he can. I think that's important when you look for a coach. Is can he handle the enormity of it all? That would be my one question about Shaka Smart. Even if he was, I thought, available and, and, yeah. and, and, and a hot name, can you handle the enormity of a statewide program where 
you know, people post on the internet when they see you driving down the street. Yeah. <laughs> they don't I, do that in in uh, Milwaukee. I will say, and I, I could be completely wrong, It's maybe it's a D2, but football's not the focus there. It is basketball, but it's the second school in Wisconsin. Wisconsin Badgers run that state, Packers and Bucks. So there's a lot of truth to what you just said. I just believe it would work for him. Oh, I but think I, he's a good coach. I yes. and if he were the coach, I I wouldn't be disappointed. I I just don't see that part happening. What do you think, Tommy? I think the more we hear and the more we read, and the less there is diffusing of this Chris Beard conversation, I believe there's there's legs growing under it. And I think something that was said earlier is spot on. Don't underestimate the Central Arkansas support because of his ties there coaching at Little Rock. So um, I'll be interested to see if anything further develops. But I think I think generally you throw out the first couple of names in a search. He was one of those first couple of names. This may be the exception to the rule for, it, for, for all the things we've talked about. You've got the money. I think you've got support with people that uh, can help make and massage the other points like buyouts and uh, things that are going to have to happen to put it in place. And I think I think in the end, I, I'm interested to see how this conversation keeps going and there's no refuting it from the other side. All right, that is your Morning Rush Daily Question presented by Red River Dodge in Heber Springs. Red River Dodge in Heber Springs, Arkansas's number one Ram dealer. Log on at redriverdodge.com. Ken's in Mansfield, Missouri this morning. What's up, Ken? Uh, good morning, guys. Appreciate you taking my call. I've got a candidate. I'd like to get your guys. I'd like to get you your thoughts on it. I don't. I don't know the status of his buyout, but I think Kelvin Sanson from Houston would be a great fit in Fable. Defense first guy, and I, I should have looked this up because this got posted the other day. I don't remember the timeline if he got hired pre Eurocheck, post Eurocheck, during Eurocheck, but that is a a popular name that's been tossed around, Ken, with with Arkansas fans. And that's another on the list of fifteen to twenty to twenty five that that would not be interested. And furthermore, look, I like Kelvin Sampson. I think he's a great coach, Hall of Fame coach. He's 68 years old. Um, he's, he's, you know, I'm not saying he's playing out the string. I don't mean that at all. I just think he's at his last stop. Okay. Alan is in Rogers this morning. Alan, what's up, man? Hey, Ty. I, uh, I always enjoy the show, but I wanted to congratulate you on smelling this out from, from the beginning. And uh, you were on top of this, and uh, uh, Clay Henry can put his air arrogance on, uh, can take a nap, and his journalistic uh, lectures can take can go on hold. You had it smelled out from the, the beginning. That Ty smelled a rat, over. didn't he? Yeah. yeah, and I wanted to congratulate Ty uh, for yeah. his uh, smelling it out. And uh, I'll just leave it like that. I don't have a... Uh, a uh, uh, prime candidate in mind, Chris Beard, sounds fine. But uh, congratulations to Ty because you yep. were on top of it from the beginning. Thanks, Alan. I appreciate Alan, that. Alan broke clocks are right twice daily. So oh, I just again, I'll go back. Mus, social media guy, radio silence there. All right, before we get to Scott Tabor, Mike is in El Dorado. Mike, what do you got for us this morning, man? Good morning, gentlemen. Hey, What's Mike. Uh, I'll show, let me rephrase that. You got two gentlemen. You got one ain't earned yet, has he? <laughs> I, it. Think bring Chuck, me, I think bring Chuck me, has earned Bring it. me back down to earth. <laughs> bring me back down to earth. Well, Mike. I'm, I'm more than twice your age, Ty, so, you know, you got to earn that, that title, you know what I mean? That's fair. That's fair. I ain't, I didn't, I ain't, I'm just playing with it. What's no, up? I just want to say, uh, thank you, Mus. We enjoyed putting this back on the map since Nolan. You know, that's a long time. And uh, who do, do y'all think might be off the rail or off the really out in left field that might come to Arkansas? Uh, Bucky McMillan is the guy that uh, is kind of a mid-major. I'd be curious. Chuck, you mentioned that list. I'd be curious if Doug McDermott is on that list at Creighton. I think Doug McDermott is a whale of a basketball coach, and I think there's certain limitations to what he can do in Omaha, Nebraska. I'd be curious if there was a conversation had if he would have any interest in Fayetteville. Uh, but he could be very much on that list that you're talking about. He's on that list, too. Um, I, I, th I think that um, anytime something like this happens, everyone always looks for that name out of left field. You know, uh, um, 
and 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 media people love to throw them out on the chance that they might be right and yeah. say I called it. Um, I don't think that list is in play this time. I, I just have to be honest with you. I I, I think we know the list. Yeah. And I, I think we know the list. And I think the to, list is about one. Right well, now. to Chuck's, I, I think that's a fair point because I had down one of the things I jotted down this morning is is Hunter and Big Wigs are they going to make a splash higher or an off at chance hire. And you had to do with Moss kind of off there. No one knew who he was before he got here. Let's be honest. Frank Nolan's probably the only Arkansas fan that knew who Eric Mossman was. But in this situation, based on where your program is, and I know this year's not a good example, you don't have to go that way. All right, the Arkansas baseball team did win last night against Ole Miss. We maybe talked about it two minutes this morning, but we're going to talk about it now with Scott Tabor. Let's talk to former Razorback pitcher Scott Tabor on the Morning Rush. Our conversation with Scott is brought to you by Alumni Hall, your ultimate Razorback shopping experience. Located next to Whole Foods in Fayetteville or shop alumnihall.com. Alumni Hall, where Razorback fans shop. Go crazy at Bob Walker! Go nuts! Scott, I promise we will ask yeah. you baseball, but first, your thoughts on Musta's situation. Do you have a candidate that you may be like of the ones that have been mentioned this morning? Well, I don't really have a candidate, but I'll tell you something that you hear and you repeat and over the years. Nobody, no no coach or no player is bigger than the program. And if you remember that, you know, coaches come and go, and the University of Arkansas stands as the University of Arkansas. Some have more success than others. Uh, and then, you you know, some just don't do well. But when you hit on that one, you keep bringing them in and, and try to make a good hire. And then when you hit on that one that you have a few magic years, you know, that's the way it should be. And then you'll move on from them. Nobody stays here forever. Except Chuck. Yeah. Well. <laughs> well it seems that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, doesn't it, though? <laughs> it does seem that way. But, uh, you know, it's always interesting when these things come up because everybody's got a, a thought and an opinion. But I, I just think we have to readjust our calculus in this NIL transfer portal world on how these coaching searches go. Because, Scott, I think the, the exactly. procedure and the boxes you have to check are much different now than they were five years ago. Yeah, it is. And it was – I was – talked to a buddy the other day about how hard it would be to be a coach, you know, unless this is what you grew up with, you know, and, and we don't have a generation of coaches that grew up with NIL and the transfer portal. This is still brand new. And so Musk was ahead of the curve in that because he was already doing it. Yeah. Uh, and I, and so that's, I think that's where that success came from. And now everybody's doing it and, and kids are out there and everybody thinks they're a one and done. And uh, it's a whole different world. I, I think it's good in some aspects, uh, I think you can fill some holes, but you still, I think you still have to go back to having a good core that they know that they're going to be there for three or four years yeah. uh, that you can work with. Hogs went over Ole Miss in the series opener last night, five to two. Hagen Smith, I, I mean, it sounds ridiculous what I'm getting ready to say. Six innings, eleven strikeouts, gave up two runs on four hits, went 105 pitches. I want to ask you about that, but you could say this might be his roughest outing since the season opener, and it was still in a win and and still a pretty good line. Sure it is. And we're used to, we're getting used to excellence, and that's what happens. That's like Kentucky basketball. If, if they don't go to the Final Four, they don't win the national championship. Mm -hmm. It's a failed year. We're starting to see that in baseball where our expectations are so high. Any little blip, any little chink in the armor becomes something. You know, fire the coach. Get rid of Hagen. He's a bum. You know, he, he had a little control problem. And that's what happens. He walked a couple of guys, hit a couple of I think he hit a guy. Uh, you're going to give up some hits. And uh, he escaped a big inning, gave up two runs that one inning. And no, they scratched out a couple of runs. And, you know, we didn't, we weren't exactly knocking the ball all, all over the yard. Uh, their guy was doing a good job shutting us down until he had some control problems. And that's when things can, the other team can capitalize. And that's exactly what happened last night. Yeah. So game two, and, and, and you're back into that, Thursday, Friday, Saturday rotation. And I've had people ask me, why are they playing so many Thursday games? Well, it's because right. they think you're really good. You are really good. So you get TV assignments way early when they put the schedule out. Tonight, uh, you know, you go through Molina. And then, uh, you know, what do you expect in these next two days with the starting pitching and particularly Tiger? You know, I don't think anything has changed. Uh, and it shouldn't change in everybody's expectations. You know, you kind of have a little uneasy feeling with Tiger just because he's had some control problems. Uh, but if Molina starts having some control problems, and he's subject to it once in a while, and every pitcher is, no pitcher is perfect all the time. It's just not going to happen. Maybe Satchel Page, but that kind of goes way back. Uh, it just, 
you know, the same thing. Uh, the, the, the one luxury we have is one thing, we have a McIntyre. Nobody else has a McIntyre. Uh, and he can come in, he can patch a lot of holes. And so just like he did last night, he came in, and that's a great, great, great combination. You know, Smith, McIntyre, and then if they have a righty coming up and you want to finish it or a lefty coming up, who's he going to finish her? And so it's uh, we have those. We have the advantage of a deep bullpen, and it's gotten deeper with pitchers coming back. You know, and and so this is something that's unusual. Usually, you're you're changing your rosters, losing pitchers. Uh, we have pitchers coming back. I mean, we're strong. Nobody's having to throw too many innings. Nobody's having to throw too many pitches. Which that's what a good championship. That's a great combination for a championship team and a championship run. Your, your pitchers aren't aren't worn down near the end of the season. So I think the same thing. You know, you you throw them out there, see how they do uh, hitting wise. You like to jump on somebody early, but when you're th- when you're playing the SEC, all the starting pitchers are going to be good. Yeah. All of them are going to be good. So you just have to find them, catch them when they have that that bad inning. Scott, sorry to cut it short. We're at the bus station. We got to change buses. We're getting off one bus, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I do. A, getting on a new bus. All right. So, all right, Scott. All we'll right, talk brother. to you next Friday. Our visit yeah, with Scott I'll Tabor every Friday, brought to you by Alumni Hall, your ultimate Razorback shopping experience. The best and largest selection of licensed apparel for the whole family. You'll find Nike, Champion, Columbia, Onward Reserve, Peter Millar. Plus, they have Yeti accessories and gifts. If you're a student, you're a faculty member, or you have a, uh, you're in the military and you've got your ID card, take that in with you, and Alumni Hall will reward you with 10% off. And thank you for your service for all those that get the military discount. You can also, all of us can earn Hall Pass rewards. Every $10 you spend gets you 100 and 50 points you earn towards great stuff at Alumni Hall. They're next to Whole Foods in Fayetteville, or shop online at alumnihall.com. Alumni Hall, where Razorback fans shop. So for Arkansas fans, you were happy you were able to retain Hagen Smith and Brady Tiger and some of the other guys that you're currently having on the number one team in the country. For your basketball team, I wonder who you can retain whoever comes in as your next head basketball coach, not only on the player side, but for a guy like Ronnie Brewer or other coaches that may be valuable to this university and this fan base, that's something I've thought about is who would be interested and would, say, Layden Blocker or Devontae Davis, would they be interested coming back or the was the relationship severed between them and Muss, but if a new coach and they still wanted to play in Fayetteville and would that new coach accept them back, something that's kind of been on my mind this morning. Well, they're all still here. Um, they're all, you know, they've got to maintain academic eligibility. So, I mean, they're all still here. Um, uh, some of it, all of it, is going to be determined by who they hire. Um, if he looks at these players and watches video of those guys and thinks he might like to have them back, well, then you make a play to get them back. Um, but I, I, I don't think it's out of the question. Uh, you know, I, I don't think anything's out of the question, frankly. But um, just because the players entered the portal and, you know, when you – signing with a school out of the portal is different than signing a national letter of intent. That agreement is much more player-friendly. And uh, it is not as binding, frankly, as a national letter of intent. And, you know, sometimes guys – sign a financial aid agreement as transfer portals and uh, still don't end up at that place. So um, I suspect some of that could be out on the table. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a good point. It is, it's all, a lot of stuff is up in the air in, uh, in that line of thinking, but there's plenty of questions. And if you have thoughts or questions, you can get in with us on the McCarty Daniel hotline as we continue on the morning rush here on a fast break and fastball Friday. Boys, the old man's going to be in here at eight. We want to hear what Clay thinks, so uh, he's gonna he's gonna delay fishing this morning uh, to hop on with us for a few minutes, and uh, we'll hear from Clay. He's written a new column. You can find it at hitthatline.com, absolutely free, and his thoughts on what's going on right now with the basketball program. Clay uh, with a special appearance coming up in about uh, twenty minutes here. Very on the morning special run. appearance. Very. Yeah, I think Alan was advocating for him to apologize to me. I, you think <laughs> I'll get that? Chuck and I will sit back and wait. Uh, oh yeah. Go ahead and hold your breath. Go ahead and start uh, now. Then I'll yeah. die. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Gaston's is the place to be. Maybe that's where Clay's going is to fish over by Gaston's today. It's going to be a great time to get there for the weekend. If you haven't made dinner reservations for tonight or sometime this weekend, call them at 870-431-5202. They'll get you set up with a nice dinner reservation. Great table that overlooks the White River. It's always a, a good time. Ty and I love going to eat there. They've, they've got 
a lot of great stuff on the menu. Great, great steaks. They got uh, what's the uh, the blackened chicken pasta that you like. It is. It is. It's really fantastic. Good. I like starting every meal out with that John Boat salad bar that is just loaded up with options and uh, full bar as well. So you'll you'll love it at Gas. It's great cabins and great fishing and all that. But sometimes you just need a great meal to go along with it. And they got breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you can make your reservations at Gas. It's eight seven zero four three one fifty two zero two. Gaston's White River Resort, a first-class time every time. Arkansas's home for the best sports talk. Ty, you're going to like this. As I wrote it, I was thinking about you. This is the Morning Rush. This is Bruce Stanton, Vice President and General Manager of Pratco Fishing in Fort Smith. Our number one volume lure out of our 20 fishing brands is the Bobby Garland Baby Shad. We make them by the millions in our facility in Fort Smith, and the Baby Shad is without a doubt the number one soft plastic crappie lure in the U.S. Fish it on a light jig head or underneath a float, and you'll find it's as productive as live bait. Available at Walmart, Bass Pro Shops, Academy, LureNet.com, and tackle stores all over the place, the Bobby Garland Baby Shad. This is the Morning Rush. This is the game that they are saying national championship. And we're floating in a sea of red. Get ready for an adrenaline-packed weekend as the University of Arkansas Fort Smith baseball team hits Crowder Field on the UAFS campus April 12th through the 14th. The Lions host Cameron University in an epic four-game homestand. Kick off the excitement with the annual Teal Tailgate starting at noon on Friday, followed by first pitches at 1 o'clock daily and doubleheader action on Saturday. Admission is free. Visit UAFSLions.com for more details and run to the roar in your UAFS Lions. Flu vaccines, both regular and high dose for seniors, are now available at Law's Drug Store in Fort Smith. Call 452 6116 to schedule your shot appointment. Usually, there is no cost when covered by your insurance. Law's Drug has COVID vaccines, RSV vaccines for ages 60 plus, pneumonia and tetanus shots are also available. Law's Drug Store, 6802 Rogers Avenue behind Alpac Steakhouse. Law's Drug Store, open six days a week to safely care for you and your family. Hey, Hog fans, this is Matt. This is Elizabeth. And this is the reigning champion of my own conference, Robert. You do realize that's not a thing. Well, I did receive a plaque commemorating that accomplishment. Yeah, and I was elected the president of Mars. Anyway, Hog fans, it's that time again. It's It's baseball baseball season. season. And Hog fans, the stadium shop has everything you need for Razorback baseball. From t-shirts, sweatshirts, man cave stuff, and even a Razorback original, the bases loaded beer hats. Plus, ladies, as well as a restocked women's section, we have the bases loaded beer stein boppers. Yeah, it's kind of... Kind of like those old-time space alien antennas, you know? Yeah, well, not really. So when you're in Fayetteville, stop by the store at 989 South Razorback Road, next door to Bomb Walker Stadium, or you can shop us on them WW Interweb, Facegram, you get it, Matt. Dad, do you mean the website? Yeah. Which is shoponrazorback.com. That's shoponrazorback.com. Or call us at 479-STADIUM. That's 479-782-3486. As always, Go Go Hogs! Tired of constant computer issues at work? And who knows what the real problem is? Is it the router? No, it's the hardware. Wait, they said it was the software. Call Hashtech Managed IT Services. Their multifaceted approach to IT support guarantees that everything is working at optimum performance. And Hashtech prevents the small problems from becoming big issues. Hashtech Managed IT Services in Van Buren. 479-802-4978. That's 479-802-4978. Hashtech Technology Without the Headache. If you knew all the Jody's Auto Service Centers can do for your vehicle and you. You'd never take your vehicle anywhere else. My fleet is small. 14 trucks and cars. It's a struggle every day with parts, employees, and scheduling. But one thing I never worry about is vehicles. Jody's has special fleet pricing, special in and out service, or free shuttle and pickup and delivery service. And they do everything. Service, repair, and maintenance. That makes my life much easier. All my vehicles go to Jody's. Latest technology and highly trained technicians means we can do it all. From the most highly technical repairs to everyday oil change specials, tires, everything, even diesels. Jody'sAuto.com schedule free shuttle service or pickup and delivery. Get a tire quote. Get financing. Jody's Auto Service Centers voted best of the best by our customers year after year. We're your neighbors since 1984 with three full service locations in Fort Smith and Van Buren. See for yourself at jodysauto.com. 
Will your bracket be better than Matt Jones, Derek Ruskin, and the rest of the ESPN Arkansas team? Then prove it. Sign up for the HitThatLine.com Bracket Challenge presented by On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill in Fayetteville, 810 Billiards and Bowling in Fort Smith, and Shelter Insurance Agent Chris Dooley. Registration is easy. Just find the contest on HitThatLine.com. The HitThatLine.com Bracket Challenge is also brought to you in part by Walk-On Sports Bistro, Century Bank of the Ozarks, Cafe Con Chisme, Links at Chaffee Crossing, and Foghorn's Wings. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. Arkansas football. It's the players running through the A. Hogcats. It's more than 70,000 fans calling Woo Pig Suey. Yes, sir. Guys, I've got just one thing I want to say to you. Touchdown, Arkansas. Season. This is your hog update on the morning rush. Brought to you by Mr. Sparky. Need a licensed electrician to service your home? For one of their local pros, call 888 8Sparky. So, Arkansas baseball gets a game one victory over Ole Miss yesterday and was helped out by a couple home runs, including a Jared Sprague lot who went yard. Also, Behiva Loy with a three run shot. 0 and 1, the set, the pitch to Aloy. Swings, lines it deep right field. Back is Hughes. Hughes at the wall. Get out of here. Opposite field. Go ahead. Home run. Aloha. Bahiba Aloy. I love I like that. that. I love uh, you're seeing all these different palm trees and other things that have made it away. It's really, guys, become a fan favorite. Is he? And his. what's crazy about him, we've said this about Peyton Stovall. Stovall's hitting like 340 against SEC teams since he came back from injury. Bahiba's gotten better against Better competition, which is encouraging to me. I think it's about weather, I at agree. least to an extent. Yeah, that's what he's a, you know, he's a Hawaii guy. I guarantee you when they had him out here, they didn't say, hey, man, it's going to be really cold in early February. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, I mean, it, it, it's getting to be baseball weather. Good teams, it's always true in college baseball. The good teams get better as the weather gets warmer. That's why LSU is always good at the end of the year. As the weather gets warmer, the good teams get better. And his attitude's improved as it's gotten yeah. warmer, I promise you. I heard no. Just his general disposition's gotten better. Nolan Sousa, after the, the win of Ray State this week, was talking about uh, kind of the weather they were discussing. I uh, also heard Hagen Smith talking about his transformation, which we've talked extensively about. He is one strikeout away from time uh, hailing or hauling in the third and the all-time strikeouts list for Arkansas. And here is what he said, how he's grown. In a situation last night that as a freshman, he would have been yanked early, but has really, really prospered here. Yeah, just growing as a pitcher in general. I'm just knowing the zone, attacking the zone. I mean, my first two years here, I would have never done that. I would have probably done three innings. So, yeah, just good to get back. And, I mean, Coach Hobbs does an amazing job of just working mechanics the past two years and got me where I am now. Happy to have him. I hope to see him continue. He just was named to the Midseason Golden Spikes Award watch list this was expected he was on the preseason he's been named to the midseason so really encouraged by what he has done so far last thing here no coaching hire has been made eric musselman's going out west he officially been named usc's coach and we've just got plane tracking season i'm kind of entertained this is uh chuck this is the time of year where arkansas fans seems to have the most opinion not that wins and losses don't go up and down all over the place, but coaching searches, man, it gets out of control here in this state. Well, it's true. There's no doubt. I mean, we do love a good coaching search, but as I've said before this morning, I think this coaching search is different because, number one, this is the first time in, what, almost 40 years that we've had a coach just leave of his own volition, mm -hmm. just, you know, up and go. Um, coach Hatfield was the last one that did it. And so, and in basketball, Eddie Sutton, in terms of the what I'd call the modern era, is the only one that's done it. So uh, um, all the others have, 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 have left on somebody else's decision. So this time Arkansas is in a position of strength is what I'm getting to. Um, our program's not in bad shape. We've not had to fire a guy. We've not had a two- or three-year slide where we've not made the NCAA tournament. We've had one year. And in the year prior to that, we were – in the Sweet 16, and the two years prior to that, we were in the Elite Eight. We sell out our building. We paid our coach over four million dollars. Um, you know, this is this is a short list. It's a different kind of search. 
And I'm not saying Arkansas holds all the cards right now. You never hold all the cards. But we're not begging people to come. I guarantee you that. We're not begging people to come. And that's your hog update this morning, brought to you by our friends at Mr. Sparky. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888 Sparky. Guess what? Uh, Grand Fayetteville points out Dana Altman could be the only other one. <laughs> Yeah, he's off the list. <laughs> that yeah, yeah, Dana Altman's not leaving. Yeah. Yeah. Ben is not in, uh, coming here. Yeah, Ben's yeah. in Fayetteville this With morning. With your permission. On the <laughs> McCarty Dana Hey, Altman. good morning, Ty. Good morning, Ty, Tommy, Chuck. Great listening to you guys on my way to work. My question about this Chris Beard, Will Wade, this is just my opinion. Will Wade's not coming here because the FBI has an office in Fayetteville over by <laughs> Noah Mushroom. Chris Beard's not coming here. Uh, DQ made a very good point yesterday. She's kind of in protest because of Will or Chris Beard's interactions with his fiance that was made very relevant in the news. And if either one of those guys do come here, are you guys on the radio going to apologize for the jokes that you cracked about Will Wade with the FBI and Chris Beard with his interaction with law enforcement? The other thing is the name Beard has a connection with the FBI here, because if you remember, Anton Beard was peddling counterfeit cash under Mike Anderson. So the FBI is already watching that. I mean, it's just <laughs> ironic that Beard oh. and Wade come down, and we've all made jokes about Will Wade and Chris Beard because of their transgressions, and now we want one of them? It just doesn't make a lot of sense. I say go get somebody clean, I say bring in a former Razorback player, somebody that's got some tradition, somebody has got some, like, drive and wants to bring in talent from across the state because we've got great talent here. Tommy, me and you both referee high school ball. We see it on a nightly basis. This Beasley, or Beasley kid in Springdale should be a target. He's homegrown talent. And I would welcome somebody that's going to groom and seek out homegrown talent. You know, I, I don't doubt for a moment Ben's sincerity. He, he calls the program. I know he loves the Razorbacks, cares about basketball. I, I, I completely understand that. But I'm going to submit to Ben respectfully that the model that he's talking about, as much as I loved it too, is an outdated model. It's an outdated model. I hate to say it. I mean, it breaks my heart to say it, but that's an outdated model. Uh, and I would uh, first having Will Wade on. I if that if that was the coach that was named in Arkansas, I would fully disclose Will Wade. I I hated you absolutely with every fiber in my being. I hated you to the end of the earth. But now you're the yeah. Arkansas head basketball coach, and I feel like a lot of fans would win that way. First Sweet Sixteen, if he was the name the head coach would go to, it would turn around real quick. Now Ben and Fayetteville bring some uh, up something interesting. He's talking about building a fence around the state, and that is a key with Isaiah Seely and then also Terry on Burgess and in. in in uh, Benton. And a guy that could do that is Sean over the fence man. Well, that's what he's doing. He couldn't be here this morning because the U of A has already put him under contract to build a fence around the state. So that's where he is at entire this morning. State. The entire state, he's going to build a, a, a tall fence so none of the none of the top recruits can get out. Fenceman Friday will be back with us next week. But seriously, if you need anything involving a fence, gate, powered automatic gates, custom uh, work or repairs on your fence, call the fence man, 782-3936. The Fitz man. He ain't afraid of no work. Hour number three with our buddy Clay Henry next. Home is everything. It's your sanctuary, your command center, your music room, and your art studio. It's where you eat family dinners and make lasting memories. When you use a Weikert agent to help you find your home, we'll help you find the space to make it yours. When you begin your search, know that a Weikert agent will be there. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned. Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas. More than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. 
When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the fence man does it. The fence man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. It's a dandy white perch. Big old slab. C'est bon, Sakali. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouth. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice spec. We got crappie. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite. White perch, slab, Sakali, paper mouth, crappie, spec, crappie baits. I call it dinner. The tournament is here. Bet Online is your bracket headquarters for this season with the best bracket contests out there and odds, lines, and info on every game and every round right up to the national championship. You can access the most up-to-the-minute wagering information anytime from your desktop or your mobile device and even track your bracket real-time all the way through the tournament. Head to Bet Online today and get in on all the action. Remember to use the promo code BELIEVE for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online. The game starts here. Are you looking for the best Razorbacks insight and analysis? Hell yes. How about listening to an Arkansas football legend? Matt Jones. All he does is make big plays. What's the voice of the Hogs have to say? Hey, what a great crowd last night. Don't forget about the Omahogs. The Hogs are going to Omaha. Matt Jones, Chuck Barrett, and Phil Elson. The best in the business on the Hit That Line podcast network. Go to hitthatline.com or search Hit That Line wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share. Madonna has gone from like a virgin to like a surgeon. You can try to nip and tuck from the curse of sin, but eventually death is going to win. God will do major surgery on this sin-filled world, and when He does, people will try and hide their faces from Him. Even plastic Christians won't be exempt. Look up Isaiah chapter 2 and see how the spiritual world renders this an immaterial world. I'm Pastor Abe from Woodland. Read about it. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel Hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the fence man does it. The fence man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. It's a dandy white perch. Big old slab. C'est bon, Sakali. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouth. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice spec. We got crappie. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite. White perch, slab, Sakale, paper mouth, crappie, spec, crappie baits. I call it dinner.
The tournament is here. Bet Online is your bracket headquarters for this season with the best bracket contests out there and odds, lines, and info on every game and every round right up to the national championship. You can access the most up to the minute wagering information anytime from your desktop or your mobile device and even track your bracket real time all the way through the tournament. Head to be- We're on our way to LA. Can't wait to get there. Fight on. Fight on. Listen, I want to go ahead and put a proposal on the table to ban the month of April for the University of Arkansas. I don't think anything good happens there. His forte, where he was ahead of his time, was getting all those transfers when hardly anybody was doing it. In Arkansas, we need every fan to be on board with the program. This is an attractive job. We've shown we'll pay. Our fans have shown that they'll fill that arena. And they will again if you get the right guy. Hey, this is Darren McFadden. You're listening to The Morning Rush. Live from the Bush Light Studio. Bush. Heard all across ESPN Arkansas and HitThatLine.com. Hit that line. This is The Morning Rush with Ty Richardson, Tommy Kraft, and Chuck Barrett. <laughs> You're in need of a serious attitude adjustment, young man. You better get your priorities straight. Produced by Christian Johnston. In spite of the juvenile snickers of some, this is a serious matter. Call or text the morning rush on the McCarty Daniel hotline. With six locations in Springdale and Bensonville, a good deal is never too far away. You don't need to wear a ball cap, man. You need to let those golden locks flow. It's a- and we welcome you back to hour number three of the Morning Rush here on a Fast Break and Fastball Friday where the topic of discussion, rightfully so, has been on the guy you just heard at the top of our open, Eric Molseman, bolting for Los Angeles, going out to USC. Question becomes, and rightfully so, who is going to be your next head basketball coach? We will try and unlock that answer with Clay Henry, who now joins us. And Chuck's still with us, too. Yep. So this should be a fun next hour here on the morning rush. Boys, I was running behind yesterday trying to get over to get my hair cut, but which by the way, none of you have commented on this morning, my my, my haircut. But very uh, nice. Yeah, thank very you. Nice. And I got behind this woman in traffic, driving about twenty five and a forty five, and then I finally got around her. And what what was she doing? On her phone. She was on her phone messing with her dad gum phone. And I know what she's doing. She's pulling into the McDonald's there. She's trying to get her double double order in or whatever, but Get out of the way. Get off your phone. Distracted driving is a real problem in our state. In fact, between 2011 and 2020, more than 32,000 Americans lost their lives in crashes involving distracted drivers. So what do you do? Whatever you have to do is what you do. Remove the temptation. Put the phone in the glove box. Turn it to do not disturb. Let someone be your designated texter. Whatever it is, it can wait, including your McDonald's order. So pull over, park. And get out of my way because I'm in a hurry to go get to my next appointment. There's no excuse for putting other people at risk with distracted driving. When you're driving, pay attention to the road. Remember this, Arkansas, put the phone away or pay. This brought to you by the Arkansas State Police. And if you don't do it, they'll have them Christmas lights on top of their hood and give you a little roadside visitation. This hour of Chuck Barrett on the Morning Rush is presented by McClarty Daniel. McClarty Daniel has a vehicle to fit both your style and budget. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, you're never too far from a good deal. Visit McClartyDaniel.com to find your next ride. So we were joking earlier about the possibility, and it's again tongue-in-cheek, of Chris Beard throwing out the first pitch tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> he was named as the head coach. And I was reading the Whole Hog Message Board Sports or Whole Hog Sports Message Boards last night and Clay, I know you were joking a little bit. If Musk threw out the first pitch of a Dodgers game, I don't know how many people would know who he actually is as we welcome you in this morning. I mean, I don't want to be rude, but there'd be a lot of people think there's a little kid out there. Well, it... Uh, Clay gets in the first yeah. post Musk shot. No. <laughs> it didn't take long, did it? No. <laughs> no. Pretty fast. Well, Clay, no. Clay, a lot's happened since you were with us on Wednesday, so we wanted to have you back today, and I can't think of a better roundtable for us to sit I up at. I pounded the boys. table to get you on this morning. Not it took really. a lot of yeah, effort sure. and ener- energy to yeah. make sure you yeah. were with us. He said he yeah, had to I'm pound sure. drinks at the table to put up with you another day. I think but anyway. kind of surprised she could hear in the background Chuck's voice. It's like, why do they need you? <laughs> so. What do you think, man? What I mean, you wrote a column. It's at hitthatline.com, But tell everybody what you think about what's happened. Well, the the thing that that I kept worrying about all year was that he didn't seem to be engaged the way he had in the past. Not I mean, he he 
got after people, got after players, got after referees or whatever. But there were there were long stretches where it just looked like, man, he's disinterested and he doesn't like what's going on. And I didn't think that, you know, he'd quit on the team. But now when I look back, I wonder if, you know, if the die had already been cast. And, and it's just, you know, I get it. Man, he's a he's a an L.A. type of guy. You know, it's he's there's not a beach right outside Bud Walton Arena. I don't care how nice it is. There is no beach. And that, you know, they never got past that. I don't guess. Yeah. So what's next? And I was reading what you wrote on hit that line dot com yeah. and you kind of got a mold or a. You know, maybe some boxes you want to check if you're looking for the next coach. Yeah, I mean, when you when you look around, it's like, what, what what's won in Arkansas? Well, it's the same thing that's won everywhere. It's defense. And I don't care what style you play. It doesn't have to be Nolan style. It doesn't have to be Eddie Sutton style. It'd be Eric Musselman style. But you gotta you got to go find a coach that can play defense because that's the ticket. That's what does well. That's why those coaches would win in postseason because they could get a stop – and give your an op, your offense a chance to, to, to win a game. And they usually had somebody that could win a game. But it's, you know, and I, I don't know whether they can even come close to getting him. But, you know, I, as I'm writing, I kept thinking, well, Chris Beer checks this box. I mean, he's as, he's as salty a defensive coach when he's got his guys. And I think he can get his guys, you know, in, in a short term. He did it at ULR, put a team together. Really, I mean, it was, that was like, an incredible mix, diversity of players that came from all over, and he did it pretty quick at Ole Miss. Not not good enough, um, but that's the that's what you need. Somebody like that, that defensive mold that knows how to put a team together. Clay, I think Arkansas, in terms of a coaching search, is in a position of strength, like they've not been before, simply because they've not had to fire a guy. There's there's there, there's not been a two or three year decline, and there aren't pieces to pick up so to speak. There's a roster to rebuild, but you hire the right guy and you can. Um, I think we've become conditioned to believe that you go the route of the mid-major. But that's always happened after we fired somebody. Um, I think it's different this time. What do you think? Yeah, I think you're right. And, and I, you know, I you can slap Eric Musselman around, and I just did. But let's give him credit. The Arkansas basketball brand is strong again it's the strongest it's been since say nolan won the sec tournament you know with that team late in his time at arkansas that was a that was pretty fun and in arkansas basketball was was still relevant there it started slipping pretty soon after that but the, the arena is full people are in a habit of buying tickets again you know with the right coach that will continue and people are talking about Arkansas, you know, on the national scene. And let's face it, if you're a recruit out there, you need to see a team in the NCAA tournament to think about them as they are, you know, a good destination. But I, so I think that you're right. I think that Hunter Yurchek has got, you know, some weapons in his war chest. One of them is a salary in excess of $4 million that he knows he can pay. And, you have Arkansas fans uh, energized again. And I think the on that conversation, I, I know Hunter put something out that the coaching search has begun. I don't think it just began yesterday. I think he has had an idea that this, not maybe the destination of where Eric Musselman was going to end up, but this was no. potentially coming to an end, and that would probably lead him to believe, or lead him to, to pursue and maybe make some prior arrangements if it plays out. I could be wrong on that. Maybe this was something he learned in the past week, but I tend to think it's something prior that he's known about for I a think, little while longer. I think you're Captain Obvious there, uh, Ty. I mean, and I'm, you know, I give you credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think that there well, you is sure little doubt. Back last week. You sure seemed to push back last week when I speculated that Eric Musman was leaving, and that was met with vigorous, vigorous pushback. Well, so I don't you, think that was Captain hey, don't Obvious. Don't shoot there. the messenger. He, he was okay. It was. I thought he was all right. But you, yeah. Well, I I really do think that that Hunter and and most ads do guys. I mean they they got they know when something's about to go down. I mean they they uh, 
you know, he, he, he knows how he's uh, perceived by his head coach. And, you know, it's like, I better be looking. <laughs> it's not going good. Yeah. And it was one going thing good last year, guys. Uh, you know, there was the feel, and, and this is the the one thing, and, and and maybe even the only thing that I would I would I would say about you know what what happened you know with the team as I as as I traveled with them was that there was a feel, you know, I had a feel toward the end that this might be it. If I had that feel, um. I guarantee you, Hunter Yurichek had that feel a long, long time before I did, mm-hmm. and a long, long time before others did, and so I suspect that while it may not have been, you know, priority one every day since January, um, I think he's probably had a pretty good idea. I think, and we mentioned this before we went to break last segment, building a fence around the state. I think Eric got to national happy, and what I mean by that is that. We got, and I don't know what's going to happen with Isaiah Elahim, and I don't know what's going to happen with Jalen Shelley. Jalen's a little more local, playing in Leak Prep at Branson. But I think you have to go back to the grassroots within this state. I think that's very important. And the fact that you don't have a single Arkansas kid on the roster right now, now kids are allowed to come back if they want to, and if it works out for the coach, I hope, and I don't know if it's going to be Beard, I don't know what who, which coach is going to be hired, but you have to re emphasize. The in-state kids. That is a big part of this process for me. And if you're not going to do that, I just don't think that you can maximize the head coaching position at Arkansas. I don't think you're ever going to be able to. Well, I guess what I'd say to that, I realize that's a popular sentiment, and you can always find plenty of agreement from people when you say that. But I guess what I would I would challenge everyone to do is look at the last four eight-team standing in the NCAA basketball tournament, I did this the other day. I don't, I don't, I don't have the paperwork right in front of me, but um, look at the teams that are left standing and look at where their players came from. Look at their rosters and see how many in-state kids are there. Get get past the walk-ons. Go past the walk-ons. Go past the guys that don't play, and look at how many in-state players are actually on these teams. There's not very many. And it goes back to the point that I made a little bit earlier, and I think it's particularly true in Arkansas when you're a one-state team. If you're going to go out and sign an in-state kid, he better be able to play. He better be able to help you, mm-hmm. and you better know that you can play him because if you don't, there will be problems. And yep. if you lose, there will be people who say, well, they got to recommit to the kids in Arkansas. Um, I am in full agreement that in all our sports – our most uncommon runs have come within state talent, at least to an extent. But let's not forget that team that won the national championship 30 years ago last night. Corliss was the bell cow. Scotty wasn't from Arkansas. Corey wasn't from Arkansas. Dwight Stewart wasn't from Arkansas. A lot of those guys mm-hmm. weren't from here. We've had plenty of out-of-state kids that have taken us to the promised land. And you go get the best players. Period. End of story. I don't disagree with your sentiment, Ty. I really don't. But I think if you really put it under the microscope, the teams that are left playing, the in-state players that they have on their teams are stars. They're stars. And that's why they're playing there. Yeah, and to that, so Clean, Bristol, Connecticut, Mark Sears, Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Purdue's got 11 Indiana kids. Probably the most notable is Fletcher Lawyer, who's probably their second-best player. And you then, said many times Nate Oates is the best coach in the SEC. Mark Sears is the one player mm-hmm, which they plucked from him, Alabama, and they plucked him back. He and started, they plucked him back. Yeah, he, started, he didn't start there. So my point is, is that basketball, more than any of the other sports, in my opinion, is the most transient of sports. Mm-hmm. I don't know the kids how, really commit to schools anymore. I think they commit to coaches and the program that that coach has built, um, and that includes in-state kids. I hate to say it, but it does include in-state kids. We have to accept the sport has now changed that at a minimum, the bottom half of your roster, as far as productivity minutes, all that, it's going to change every year. Good or bad, no matter what your record, that's a minimum. I mean, we've seen it here where Muss has changed out four or five players every year or more, and I don't think he's alone in that. So um, this, this old model, this old way of thinking is no longer practical. Because Clay, you're you know every year you're going to yeah. overturn half your roster at a minimum. I want to add to what Chuck said, and and uh, you know, 
basketball, football are different, but they're the same in the respect of if you sign an in-state kid and he doesn't get on the field and he leaves, you have, you have in often cases, pissed off a whole town. And if you do that five or six times and you've, you know, you've, you know, you've damaged yourself in Benton and Magnolia and El Dorado and Blyville. And I mean, all at once, it's just like, man, what, what are you doing? And I, and I, and Chuck's exactly right. You, and I've heard Brett Bielema and I've heard Sam Pittman. You wait a long time on an in-state guy because you can't be wrong. Uh, and it is, and Coach Burrell said that too. You know, you, you take them and they don't get on the field, then, then you have, boosters in that town you know that are puzzled and then if they leave and they're successful someplace someplace else but i i will say this about eric musselman he played some in-state guys and won with them i mean moses moody great in-state player i mean he's it's uh, what started jalen you know he did he didn't run off jalen williams and isaiah joe and those guys he knew they, no, could but they were all great i mean you yeah can't that's what i'm saying player. nba players yeah you that's what i mean they're player. nba players yeah. you get the right ones right. it doesn't you know, you're not. There isn't a problem. It's you're just, just taking, make sure you evaluate. Yeah. You're um, taking those guys no matter where they were from. Exactly, and that's you know, and so you know the same thing with Ron Brewer and Marvin Delph. Yeah, you didn't and take those three guys Sydney because Montgomery. they were that, that wasn't th- those weren't uh, they weren't reaches. Yeah, uh, U.S. Reed. Th- that was one they waited a really, really long. They yeah. they didn't take him till like August All Star game because he was a six two post player. And they kept watching him, watching him. It was like, well, we think he can play guard. But they didn't, you know, when everybody in Pine Bluff was saying, I take that guy, that. Sutton was like, let's hold on. Let's, 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 let's make sure we do our due diligence because we don't like it when an in-state kid comes and, and he, can't, he can't make our team. All right. Let me shift it to this because the, the conversation everywhere is about Chris Beard. There's some things I think that sure. need to be talked about. He, his contract that we know of was scheduled – to be at three point three five million next year, the state of Mississippi caps deals at four years. That's their state law. We don't know about what the particulars were with him and Keith Carter on the deal that apparently is unsigned. The other thing we don't know is exactly what it cost him to get out of that deal. Clay, we'll start with you and Chuck. When Chuck, time want to hear from you guys. What do y'all think are the hurdles if he's the target? Those are the parameters that uh, you're working against and with to. Maybe land him as your next coach. Number one, go get him. I mean, I, I think that he, you know, I wouldn't write it. Some my my story that's hit that line dot com about Chris Beard, but then when I read it back to myself, <laughs> well, that's the guy. Uh, and I just don't know what the you know what the top end dollar amount is that they can you know they can go. But I mean, he he would uh, I think he would be sellable. You know, as far as the NIL, now, there's going to be some people that don't like, you know, some of the stuff in his background. But I think he's uh, he can flat out coach. He can coach defense. So that's that's my number one thing. I would say in answer to your question, I don't think there are hurdles. If you decide you want him, I don't think there are hurdles. Yeah, go get him. Well, I think I the think fact he that does. he makes three point three or whatever it was going to be, I think you, that's you part that of helps, the issue. That but helps I don't, your, I don't, that helps you. Guys, there's it no- helps. It doesn't yeah. hurt. Yeah. But um, I think what you put together in terms of your NIL pool before the, the ink's even put to paper, I think that's the determining factor. There's no contesting his basketball acumen. There's no contesting if you could pay him or not. The only thing you're contesting is what may or may not have happened in Austin, Texas. That is the only pushback. Yeah. That is the only drawback to Chris Beard. There's not a single other thing you can say about him that would push someone away from hiring him. But I don't think the people that want this to happen are pushed away by that. Nope. Now, They're I'm not. not saying they should or they shouldn't be. I'm not offering a commentary on that. I don't I, I that's for each person to decide. But I don't think that is even in play in terms of whether or not you get him. I think that it may be in, and is in play in terms of how people react to it, how people feel about it what kind of press you get when you make that move. But in terms of the people who have the ability to make this happen, I, 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 don't, I, I just don't think that's in play. Yeah. I think the, the, the one thing that's going to go un, underestimated till if it happens, the things we'll realize after it. And I think and the, there's a couple pre-qualifiers they just stated. 
but the big business, big name support that may come out of central Arkansas, the program hasn't had at least front and center. He's got Little Rock ties. He's got relationships there. And Chuck Clay, I think, th- I think that's an important thing that, that really is, it, it's hard to put your finger on, but I think it's real. It's, that would be something that would unite the state. Yeah. I mean, I think that, you know, in terms of basketball in maybe in the in, finances, maybe of in the, yeah, in, in, NIL, man, that's the, you got to have a coach that can draw NIL money and that's, that's what they need. Um, I think Arkansas is a better basketball school than Ole Miss. I think Chris Beard knows that. Yeah. Hey, before we go to a break, guys, McClarty Daniel, you know, they're the one that sponsored the segment. They're the ones that got us talking. I appreciate what they do, and you will too when you become a customer at McClarty Daniel. You're going to feel it when you walk in the door. They're going to be glad to see you. You're going to feel welcome. You're also going to get a great deal on an automobile, a nice one. And then you're going to get service after the sale. There are going to be things like Saturday service. How about that? Uh, the possibility and, and, and you know, they, they, they make sure you got something to drive when your car is being serviced as well. Uh, that's the McClarty Daniel difference. That's why they've been doing this so long, and that's why people keep coming back. They've got six locations in Springdale and Bentonville. You can check out their selection at McClartyDaniel.com. Hey, Clay, thanks for uh, jumping in for a few seconds. Everybody go read Clay's thoughts at HitThatLine.com, and uh, hope you hook a big one today, big boy. Thank you very much. Y'all enjoyed it. It's uh it's good to be an interesting quartet. Yeah. yeah. I don't See, know if we Clay. can do that too often. Okay, bar- with Barbershop Harmony right here. All right, yes. man. Enjoy the weekend. All right, Clay Henry with us here for a special Friday appearance on the Morning Rush. Interesting times, guys. Interesting I'm, days ahead of us. I'm, as someone that's going to fly fish next week, and I have to ask him about it on Wednesday, but I appreciate Clay joining us this morning. All right, we got a couple more segments here on a fast break and fastball Friday. Baseball team did win last night. We'll try and get that in. Next on the Morning Rush as we continue on on ESPN Arkansas. I'm a hugger. Through and through. Yep. I never get a hug from you. What's that about? I'm selective with them. You're listening to the Morning Rush. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned. Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the fence man does it. The fence man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. It's a dandy white perch. Big old slab. C'est bon, Sakale. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouth. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice spec. We got crappie. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite. White perch, slab, Sakale, paper mouth, crappie, spec, crappie baits. I call it dinner. The tournament is here. Bet Online is your bracket headquarters for this season with the best bracket contests out there and odds, lines, and info on every game and every round right up to the national championship. You can access the most up-to-the-minute wagering information anytime from your desktop or your mobile device and even track your bracket real-time all the way through the tournament. Head to Bet Online today and get in on all the action. Remember to use the promo code BELIEVE for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online. The game starts here.
Are you looking for the best Razorbacks insight and analysis? Hell yes. How about listening to an Arkansas football legend? Matt Jones. All he does is make big plays. What's the voice of the Hogs have to say? Hey, what a great crowd last night. Don't forget about the Omahogs. The Hogs are going to Omaha. Matt Jones, Chuck Barrett, and Phil Elson. The best in the business on the Hit That Line podcast network. Go to hitthatline.com or search Hit That Line wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share. Madonna has gone from like a virgin to like a surgeon. You can try to nip and tuck from the curse of sin, but eventually death is going to win. God will do major surgery on this sin-filled world, and when he does, people will try and hide their faces from him. Even plastic Christians won't be exempt. Look up Isaiah chapter 2 and see how the spiritual world renders this an immaterial world. I'm Pastor Abe from Woodland. Read about it. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel Hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McClarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McClarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McClarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the fence man does it. The fence man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. It's a dandy white perch. Big old slab. C'est bon, Sakale. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouth. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice spec. We got crappie. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite white perch, slab, Sakale, paper mouth, crappie, spec, crappie baits. I call it dinner. The tournament is here. Bet Online is your bracket headquarters for this season with the best bracket contests out there and odds, lines, and info on every game and every round right up to the national championship. You can access the most up-to-the-minute wagering information anytime from your desktop or your mobile device and even track your bracket real-time all the way through the tournament. Head to Bet Online today and get in on all the action. Remember to use the promo code BELIEVE for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online. The game starts here. Are you looking for the best Razorbacks insight and analysis? Hell yes. How about listening to an Arkansas football legend? Matt Jones. All he does is make big plays. What's the voice of the Hogs have to say? Hey, what a great crowd last night. Don't forget about the Omahogs. The Hogs are going to Omaha. Matt Jones, Chuck Barrett, and Phil Elson. The best in the business on the Hit That Line podcast network. Go to hitthatline.com or search Hit That Line wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share. Madonna has gone from great. Going to be a big weekend at Wrath Auto Resources. I hear all the buses are on sale. Got uh, got a big deal on buses this weekend. Got a big deal. On, the only bus we have is our fun bus, Gary <laughs> Bussy, yeah. and uh, it's pretty cool. Kind yeah. of a kind of a hangout place. But uh, yeah, we've got buses for sale. <laughs> we've also got a great selection of road ready premium pre owned vehicles. And folks, these road ready cars, road ready certified with warranty. You just can't buy a better used car than these. And we go to a lot of trouble to handpick these cars. We go to a lot of trouble to recondition them in our Meineke Car Care Center. And now we're covering those with the warranty as well, full coverage warranty. So 
It's a really great way to buy a used car. It takes all the risk out of it. And we've got a big selection, cars and trucks and SUVs, whatever you're looking for, even minivans. We've got a good selection of those right now. So whatever you're looking for, come on out and spend a little time. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. What a great time to come out and look at some cars. And, you know, folks look at cars online now, and that's a great way to, to kind of start your search sometimes. But seeing that car, particularly on a used car, you need to see that car. Every one of them is unique. It's a thumbprint. You need to see it need to drive it, get your questions answered, make sure that's the right one for you and your family. And if it is, let us worry about getting the price and payment where it fits your budget. That's what we do, and we'd love a chance to earn your business at Rap Auto Resources. If you're going to keep your car, bring it on into the Meineke Car Care Center. Buy three, get one free on tires, half-off brakes, lots of other specials going on back there. Plus, just the best service you're going to find anywhere. Philip and his team do a terrific job of taking care of cars. More importantly, they know how to take care of customers, and we'd like a chance to do that for you, too. So, folks, come and see us this weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun at Rath Auto Resource. We can get you driving better right now. Rath Auto Resource in Fort Smith. Don't forget Rath, Mitsubishi, and Springdale. Big specials up there as well on a new, a big selection of new 24 and 23 model Mitsubishi Outlanders, Eclipse Crosses, the Mitsubishi Mirage, the least expensive car in America right now. So we've got a good selection Love to help you out. Rath Mitsubishi in Springdale. Rath Auto Resources in Fort Smith. The Meineke Car Care Centers at both locations. Check it all out. RathAuto.com. All right, Larry. We'll uh, see you at one of the two locations. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a good one. Folks, come and see it. So I guess the next question that needs to be asked, and I selfishly hope it's filled by next Thursday because I'm jetting off to Bozeman, Montana, is how quick this is going to go. I tend to think we're going to have an answer one way or another by the beginning of next week. I don't know if it's necessarily going to be Monday, but I think Tuesday or Wednesday is more of a likely possibility. And I don't have any inside knowledge. I just that's just kind of where my gut is. You think this is a pretty guys? You'll think it's a pretty quick process, and Hunter gets his guy in here. I don't think it's going to take terribly long. No, um, you know you you you've got to balance this around the Final Four. I don't think, for example, Arkansas is going to introduce a new head coach on Monday. That's a good point. You know, when uh, when they're playing the national championship game, I certainly don't think it's going to be over the weekend. There's kind of a um, you break decorum uh, in 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 college basketball when you when you do that. Traditionally, you just don't do that. I would expect something to happen sooner rather than later. I mean, I'm I'm not going to put a timetable on it because if nothing happens, it makes it look like something's wrong. But um, I don't, I don't, I don't think we'll have to wait very long. I think because of the head start that Hunter Yurchek has had, and I think the wheels are in motion now. The deal will be done, maybe before several days before it becomes public. But yeah, I, I think uh, Chuck's dead on. The, the final four adjust the timing of when you want to make it all public. Well, yes, and you know one thing we talked about yesterday. We did it kind of flippantly, but 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 it was you know it certainly applied. Was who are you working for today? Who are you calling for? Mm-hmm. You know, Muss, as we see now, um, for the last, I don't know, maybe since the last horn sounded over in Nashville, um, he's been working for Team Muss. You know, the Cohen kid that he brought in here, he didn't bring him in to play at Arkansas. He brought him in to play for him. He already, he already knew he was leaving. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I just I just think all those things are going to come into play. But I also think it can happen very, very quickly and you could conceivably have someone working for you before you introduce him at a press conference and given the final four where we are in the calendar the portal all the things that are going on um i would not be surprised to see that happen i want to offer this up before we go we saw Rick Barnes play Texas this year. I would bet any amount of money if it lines up on a seed line wise, if the NCAA can do it, they will pit Arkansas against USC next year. Both teams make the tournament. You maybe. watch that play out, and that would be well, entertainment. Yeah, uh, maybe so. I mean, but but yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm sure somewhere we'll cross paths down the road. Yeah, and uh, and you're right. They they like to to monkey with stuff like that, but I don't know if it'll be. Hey, you just hope you're in a position to We're be. We're getting a, way ahead of ourselves. Yeah, I mean, there. yeah. That's, that's USC's got to get the there. Gun, me jump the gun. U- yeah. USC's got to get there before that can happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. <laughs> well, I don't know how you boys got your brackets set up for this weekend, but if you haven't entered your Final Four bracket at hitthatline.com, you still got time before tomorrow night. It's presented by On the Mort 
on the mark sports bar and grill in Fayetteville, 810 billiards and bowling in Fort Smith and shelter insurance agent, Chris Dooley. Chuck, who do you like this weekend real quick? UConn. Okay. And? Oh, the other team? Yeah, the other matchup. Oh, I, I oh, I, I thought you meant all across yeah. the board. I'm, I'm right. uh, going with I'm UConn. Taking UConn. All right, there you go. For, I've just had the Rocky Mountain oysters, the bowl. You know what? I don't think that's too nuts. I'm, <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't mean to say that. Uh, well played. Uh, Accidentally, that's an accidental pun. You're listening to the Morning Rush. Spring camping season is here. Don't miss the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th at 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers behind Newt. Sponsored by two of the state's largest RV dealers, Wheels RV and Moix RV. With brands you love like Grand Design, Jayco, Brinkley, Blackstaff, Coachman Catalina, Vibe, and Winnebago. On-site financing available, plus food trucks, a variety of vendors, and downtowns for the kids. Make plans to attend the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th. 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers. Tommy Craft here for The Fence Man, the company you can trust when it comes to building your next fence. The Fence Man recently built new gates for my existing fence. The whole process was easy, quick, and most importantly, affordable. Plus, 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available with The Fence Man. If you need a new fence, gate, or anything that involves a fence, call The Fence Man, 479-782-3936. That's 782-3936. The Fence Man. He ain't afraid of no work. On the court, like in life, things aren't always going to go as planned. Just take a look at your bracket. You'll see what I mean. So when the inevitable water, fire, or other property damage happens at home or at work, SurfPro, the number one seed in cleaning and restoration, can help you get back in the game. As for that bracket, you're on your own. SurfPro, like it never even happened. Visit SurfPro.com or call 1-800-SURFPRO today. This is the Morning Rush. Somebody get him a plane ticket for New York City. Are you ready to indulge in an unforgettable fine dining experience? Then come join us at Uncorked, where every meal is a masterpiece, crafted with the finest ingredients to tantalize your taste buds. And with our extensive selection of cocktails, wine, craft beer, and bourbons, we've got something for everyone. So why not take a break from the ordinary and join us on Phoenix Avenue next to Sodi's? Come savor the moment with us at Uncorked, where every visit is a celebration. The paint store in Van Buren is still the place to go to when doing the job right really matters. Our unique line of Richard's paint products was chosen by me to perform for you. This is Sue, and my 35 years of experience ensures you get the right paint and the right color. That's important to you and me. Thank you for your support. Come see what I'm talking about. 1414 Fayetteville Road, The Paint Store, Van Buren. Get ready for an adrenaline-packed weekend as the University of Arkansas Fort Smith baseball team hits Crowder Field on the UAFS campus April 12th through the 14th. The Lions host Cameron University in an epic four-game homestand. Kick off the excitement with the annual Teal Tailgate starting at noon on Friday, followed by first pitches at 1 o'clock daily and doubleheader action on Saturday. Admission is free. Visit UAFSLions.com for more details and run to the roar with your UAFS Lions. The Wave Rural Connect Shoal Creek Zone is open. Fast fiber internet, TV, and home phone available. This covers Midway, New Blaine, Scranton, Delaware, and other areas. Even if this isn't your zone, check your address. We might be available for you. Get your whole home solution. Internet, TV, and phone from a local provider. Go to signup.waveruralconnect.com or call 1-833-492-8372. Arkansas Valley Electric and Wave Rural Connect. Changing the communities we serve. If you knew all the Jody's Auto Service Centers can do for your vehicle and you, you'd never take your vehicle anywhere else. My fleet is small, 14 trucks and cars. It's a struggle every day with parts, employees, and scheduling. But one thing I never worry about is vehicles. Jody's has special fleet pricing, special in and out service, or free shuttle and pickup and delivery service. And they do everything, service, repair, and maintenance. That makes my life much easier. All my vehicles go to Jody's. Latest technology and highly trained technicians means we could do it all. From the most highly technical repairs to everyday oil change specials. 
tires, everything, even diesels. Jody'sAuto.com schedule free shuttle service or pickup and delivery. Get a tire quote, get financing. Jody's Auto Service Centers voted best of the best by our customers year after year. We're your neighbors since 1984 with three full service locations in Fort Smith and Van Buren. See for yourself at jodysauto.com. Hey, Wes. Billy, he is for horses. I have an idea to bring in more customers. What you got? We yell on the radio, woo, pink suey. We're going to call the hogs? Yeah, we call them all in. Woo, pink suey. Come get your pizza at Jim's Razorback Pizza. I'd rather not. Don't you love the hogs? Of course. But we can't call our customers hogs. But they're hog fans, and our name is Jim's Razorback Pizza. Billy, I love your enthusiasm. Look it, if you think we should do it, then let's do it. Woo! Pink suey! What about moo instead of woo? We use Wisconsin cheese. Really? You and them dang cows. Woo! Pink suey! Jim's Razorback Pizza. Blessed to serve you. Eat Jim's RazorbackPizza.com. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. Except we've got SEC Bionics. Deal with it. They're the best. In the SEC, it just means more. I don't know what, but the SEC just got a little tougher. This is your SEC update on the morning rush. Brought to you by Burton Pools and Spas. Trusted pool experts and your source for backyard fun. Locations in Fort Smith, Springdale, and always online at burtonpools.com. And we welcome you back for the final segment here on a fast break and fastball Friday where Arkansas got a game one victory over Ole Miss last night. I know Hagan Smith didn't have his best outing, but you still liked what you saw. Ended up still with 11 strikeouts. I mean, yeah, what we're a terrible like, time. Yeah, we're acting like he played terrible. But it, it is night. when I, you know, and I, I was half joking, but also half right because actually other than the non-conference game to open the year where he had a, terrible first inning that's this was his worst start statistically and i i say that because he had 11 strikeouts and allowed two runs on four hits and six innings of work and 105 pitches that's why this team is you know a real threat not only to win the sec and everything there but you know i hope they're not the number one team going into the tournament because we know the history there but they're clearly the best team in baseball and hagan smith's the reason why and it wasn't his A game, but it was a good A minus game. Yeah, you and me differ on that. I want him to be the number one seed well, because I think if they you can if, be wrong, if, and I'll be right. If they if they win, we have to do it in the in the wildest way. Well, I don't care how they do it, wild, mild, wild, or mild. anything in between. I just want them to win the whole thing and whatever whatever the formula is, let's figure it out. Well, uh, a, a piece of that winning is going to be a a guy that you don't see a lot usually just for a a batter. But it's uh, Stone Hewitt, and he ended the game last night. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, ninth inning. Hewlett delivers again. He struck him out swinging. Boom. And this one belongs to the Razorbacks. Hopefully game two goes according to plan tonight. SEC Network Plus is when you, where you can watch it. And, of course, you can listen to it right here on ESPN Arkansas. Hit that line.com. And the brand new Hit That Line Now app. The only other game in action last night was LSU and Vanderbilt. 10-6 to the final there in favor of the home Tigers. So that is what occurred in the SEC. Plenty of other action later on today. And that is your SEC update. Brought to you by our friends at Burden Pools and Spas. Man, it's going to be pool season pretty soon. We we uh, we got ours open this week. I've got I've got work to do and i got to get the water heated up. But we've. We've began the process, and if you're thinking, man, I wish I wish we had a pool in my backyard, or better yet, maybe I wish my neighbors had a pool in their backyard. That's even the better way to go. Talk to Burton Pools and Spas. Seriously, stop by Springdale or Fort Smith. In Springdale, they have 10 stunning in-ground pools for you to look at in their outdoor showrooms, the best in the country. Eight different fiberglass models to check out. You can get a real feel for what a backyard oasis could really look like in your own backyard. Remember Chevy Chase in um, Christmas Vacation when he looked out the window there and he could see oh, he was yeah. going to spend the bonus on the pool? You know, you could stand at your kitchen window and really view your own backyard much like that with the help of Burton Pools and Spas. Hey, what they did for me 
is when they came to my house, took measurements, took pictures, and they came back with a computer rendering or a, a graphic, uh, like an animation. And man, when my pool was done, it looked almost identical to what that, that, uh, graphic looked like. So if you need some help designing the backyard of your dreams, Burton pools and spas can do that for you. They're in Springdale and in Fort Smith, always online at burtonpools.com. Burton Pools and Spas, where you can get your feet wet without getting in over your head. Well, we've had a busy week around the state, getting on and off the must bus, but uh, racing will still go on this weekend at uh, at Fabulous Hot Springs America, as uh, Lang Whitman joins us now at the Railbird 333. Got to ask you, Lang, to start off, what do you think about must leaving? Uh, if you had told me that I was okay with it seven months ago, uh, I would have, I would have had a totally different answer than what I have today. I, I, th- I think, uh, the time had come and once you took the interview out there and that was all public and everything, uh, that, that was, there was no turning back. Uh, people were going to have a hard time accepting him back. That's the way Arkansas fans are. And, uh, I, I think it's, it's going to work out well for, for both parties. All right. So, well, we're, we're down. I don't see, we're not to the nitty gritty yet, but we've had the Arkansas Derby. There's five weekends. That's hard to believe. Just five weekends left in uh, the 2024 meet. Yeah. 15 days left in the live meet. And, uh, we'll look at, uh, tomorrow's card where we have two stakes races. These are the Arkansas bred. Uh, the big stakes races of the meet, the Rainbow Myth and the Rainbow Stakes. Uh, these races I, I've set on here before in past years are are near and dear to me. Uh, when I first started going to Oakland in, in the mid '80s uh, with one of my best friends, uh, I grew up in Stuttgart, and his grandfather, Mr. R.B. Oliver, had a a small stable of five to six horses. Usually, when we were growing up, uh, racing over there at Oakland, and he won the Rainbow Stakes in 1980 with Lila Jean. He won. Uh, he won the, the Rainbow Miss with Lila Jean. He won the Rainbow with Divisor in 1987. So being a, a kind of being a part of that growing up, uh, these races uh, you know hold hold a special part of my heart, and uh, it's something I look forward to every year. and brings back those memories, and that's going to be the eighth race of the Rainbow Miss for $150,000, six furlongs for three year olds. It's an eight horse field. The morning line favorites looks to be a two horse race. Hush It Honey at 6-5 to five for trainer Randy Morris with Rafael Bayarano riding. And Hall and Ice, even money for trainer Lindsey Schultz with Francisco Arietta. Everything else in that race has uh, maybe double-digit odds, so it looks like two big favorites in the Rainbow Miss. We go to the 10th race Saturday. The, uh, the Rainbow Stakes is for the boys, six furlongs, three-year-olds, and 11-horse field. And this one looks to be very more competitive. Uh, you have 20 to park at 5 to 2 for trainer Matt Shire. You have Landlord at 7 to 2 on the morning line for trainer Ron Moquette. You have uh, Spruce Str- Spruce Ridge, Strike Ridge, excuse me, I can't read my writing. Strike Ridge at 3 to 1 for trainer Chris Hartman. And Zippy Mark at 9 to 2 for trainer Wayne Rarick. Uh, so you have you know four horses there between 7 and $11 in potential payouts. Going to be a, a, a very competitive rainbow stakes in the 10th race tomorrow. Also, when you look at Sunday, I need to talk to, to Nancy Holtus or somebody over there at Oakland and ask some questions about this. There's a new stakes race, and uh, it's racing Sunday, and it's the inaugural Eclipse Stakes for $175,000 for four-year-olds and up at six furlongs. I mean, it, is this a one-time? Is it the inaugural or is it the only Eclipse <laughs> Stakes? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure we're going to be running this every year yeah. going forward, but but the favorites here, Gun Pilot, uh, Tapito Leo, Kavod, I think Gunpilot, uh, this is his race to lose for trainer Steve Asmussen, leading jockey Christian Torres. Uh, he's run very well at Oakland in the past, and he's going to be the deserving favorite in the Eclipse Stakes. We'll do it again in 20 years when the next <laughs> total eclipse comes yeah. around. Somebody yeah. put that on your calendar right now and get a <laughs> reminder, get a get a, 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 an iPhone reminder for that. All right. Uh, do, do, do you, is, that, is that the second? It wouldn't be the second annual. It would, just, it would just be the second running, I guess, when we bring it back after 20 years. We'll just call it the second ever. You know, yeah. second <laughs> ever. That's what we'll call it. All right. So you always give us a long shot on Fridays. Uh, what, what's, what's your big uh, pick today that might have a little value? Yeah, today we're going to look uh, at my long shot. We're going to go to race nine, the feature race. Horse number five, Bohemian Bow, eight to one on the morning line. Here's a horse that has three starts at the meet with two wins, including one in a stakes race 
in his last out, but that was against Arkansas Breds. Today he steps up in class to run in open company, so it's going to be a little tougher crowd he's facing, but both of his wins here this meet are good enough to win this race. He needs to replicate one of those races. Lifetime, he's got 12 starts with four wins in three seconds. So, uh, you know, he, li- he likes running in the exacta at Oakland Park in his career. Six starts with three wins in two seconds. Five out of six in the exacta at Oakland. And at the six far long distance, he's running today three wins out of eight career starts. You add in that the favorite, number nine, Easy Action, does not like to win. as a. It, that's a bonus for Bohemian Bow. Three times in, in Easy Action's last six races, he's had the lead in the stretch only to get passed by somebody and finish second. In fact, in his 12 lifetime starts, he's only got two wins while running second six times. So you have a favorite that, that doesn't really like to win. You have a, a horse stepping up in class a little bit here today, uh, so you're going to have some better odds. Let's go with number five, Bohemian Bow, in race nine at 8 to 1 on the morning line as my long shot of the day. All right, you can get all of Lang's picks online at the Railbird, 3-3. Three, three three facebook x anywhere you've got it and you can find it and uh, get a hold of lang and get his picks for uh today or any of the last 15 days of the oakland meet and other tracks available as well lang uh enjoy another weekend at oakland and we'll catch up with you next friday always look forward to it tommy thanks for having me on my brother's roofing brings us our update each and every week uh, when we talk about oakland brought to you by brother's roofing if you've had recent storm damage be it hell or high wind and we've had some storms and guess what more are on the way. If you got a leaky roof, call Brothers Roofing. If your insurance company has already sent an adjuster out, they said, no, nothing wrong with your roof, but you know there is because roofs all around you in your subdivision, your neighborhood, or your next door neighbors are getting new roofs. Call Brothers Roofing and let them do a free roof inspection for you. Whether you're in Hot Springs, whether you're in Bentonville, whether you're in Fort Smith or anywhere you're listening, they have a crew near you and Brother will come and personally inspect the job himself. 479-353-3877, 479-353-3877. Four seven nine three five three thirty eight seventy seven, four seven nine three five three three eight seven seven for Brothers Roofing and Restoration. All right, so a couple of uh, notes before we go this morning. We appreciate everyone joining us on the McCarty Daniel Hotline, listening on ESPN Arkansas. Hit that line dot com and our brand new Hit That Line Now app that Wes in Fayetteville so thoroughly enjoys. He said the new app is amazing. It's his new ways to listen to great shows throughout the day. Always have you guys on, and the fans, if you haven't downloaded this app, you need to do it. We are, I want to mention one more time, we are hiring right now. If you're looking for a part-time job in radio, you can send me an email at ty, T-Y-E dot Richardson at hitthatline.com. Got a bunch of resumes. Hopefully, keep accumulating those as we're trying to add on to our team here at ESP in Arkansas. And I've also been given this beautiful prop. Now, what kind of driver is this that you've given me for this weekend? I think it's is a Taylor. Di- is it a Diablo? Is that? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Pull that drive. I don't know. It's it's one of it's one that I Pull had the around the head. house. The one what? I it was the one I was hitting before I got the one I had down. So we I have not easily... utilized props as good as Derek and Zach have. I will give them credit. But what I'm probably going to do is take my old driver and keep the hog hat on it, and then the bring head cover. the head cover on yeah. it, and then keep it in there. But I appreciate you. No, no, the the driver and the head cover go together. But you need the driver you have. A, it sounds like you're hitting an Easton bat when oh. it tees off, and B, the ball goes about nine miles to the right because you don't have the right shaft. You got a regular flex shaft, and I don't know what young that means. and strong. It means you're too strong for that shaft. You need a stiffer shaft so you can get the club face closed at impact. Say shaft again. How many times can we say golf shaft? shaft you need to close that at impact so that you don't slice it nine miles into the woods every. T- it's go, like no, it's like Judge Smell's got his slice. hamstring sliced, and you're going to give up the game. Play the slice. So play the slice. Well, hard I to want, play. It's hard to play the slice behind the out of bounds stakes. I That's the problem. I won't have to anymore. Uh, no, I'm going to save this, your golf game. I want you to get this, better. Trying to break a hundred. Hopefully this weekend and starting. I want you to hit it good. Then I'll tell you what the price is on it. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not. I'm and then not you'll paying. pay whatever I say. If you hit it good, you'll pay whatever I say. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Appreciate everyone joining. That's how us golfers with, work. And you know what I'm going to do though. You're gonna get, let's I'm, use it to go hire a new coach. That's I'm, what we need to yeah, do. Yeah, I'm gonna expense it because that's the best way to go about it. Appreciate everyone joining us today. Halftime coming up at eleven. Powerball jackpot from the Arkansas Scholarship Lottery.